Today we are checking out the City Skylines Island Star Challenge. This is something that I created based on what I did in SimCity, where you have to start off with a, a small square of land, uh, which I have painstakingly gone over all of these mods and other cheats to just get this working to begin with. We have roughly around $300,000 to start. It's uh, 2026. We are, in, we are on February 24th, and... Pretty much uh, self-explanatory. I think we're going to have three goals for this challenge, and it's going to be a test out for something I'd like to try on YouTube. Uh, uh, pretty much, can we rebuild civilization from the sea? Now, I've bought all 25 land squares. If we could appreciably fill this up with land, which is very expensive to do all the landscaping, that would be nice. So fill up the land. Uh, try to make a profitable and happy city. So I guess that's like a two-pronged girl, uh, goal. And then it would also be nice to reconnect these highways to some extent. I think that's pretty much all we can do here because currently all of the land is just water. I have various save files and there's all these shacks that have managed to survive out in the ocean where like maybe Captain Ahab is living. There's a, a dock over there. I've turned off disasters. There's a lot of stuff going on which I, I imagine would just be boring if I went over it all right now. So we should probably just get started and I'll get to it in time. Where is the island? There it is. Um, hopefully this will be enough money. So I think that the very first thing we need to do, um, besides build roads, just so that we can build anything, I know it, it's kind of like a dystopian nightmare, but it's what's probably going to happen to our country, you know, after 2024 or so. I, I think this is pretty, pretty soon we're going to be experiencing a hellscape like this, yeah. So let's go ahead and just build, probably start with a square would be a decent place to begin. Um... Or maybe just an L, like for an L on her forehead, you know, like classic start. Um, I messed that up. Okay, but let's just go like here. There we go. That's pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good. I just want to, I'm a bit of a perfectionist here. So I'm going to make this perfectly straight here. I want to make sure that all of the grids are exactly the same size. Because I have to do a grid for this challenge, otherwise I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, because that's uh, it, nothing makes sense in this challenge. We're also going to handle the water situation very early on, so I'm going to go ahead and build out like a land bridge. I'm thinking like this away. This is going to be the industrial side of town, and this will be the residential side of town. So we'll take the water from here where it's still clean, and there is like a slight current, um, but that's just sort of pushing it around the island. So let's go ahead and put it like there ish and then i'm going to put all the dumping on the opposite side of the island this will make a little bit more sense in time so we're basically going to be building out this way okay so we've essentially filled this out i'm going to go ahead and get these two pipes ready we still are paused because I, god forbid that time should begin i mean everything's it, it, it things will be awry for a while is what i'm trying to say um, let's see. Can I get it? Yes, I can get it this way, more or less. Let's build the pipes out there, and then we'll kind of noom them this way as we go. Um, what else would we like to do with it? We have spent uh, only roughly about $8,000. Um, we have the land bridge. Okay, so now I'm going to begin just showing you what I'm going to be spending most of my time doing. So, uh, modify the... Yes, I know this. I'm going to get a lot of this. I've also got an unlimited soil, because just... God help me, like, I, d I don't want to have to keep replacing the soil. It would just take too long. So, the doo-doo will, like, be trying to get into the good water. So, we need to be very careful to keep them separated. So, I'm just going to go ahead and start terraforming the land. And now I'm really using, like, my adult money in this challenge, you know? I I'm spending $34,000 just to look at how much I spent just to terraform that one little bit. Now, this is an extension onto my main island. I'm about to turn back on time in a moment, but I want to just separate clearly out. This will be the middle ground. Uh, and then let's use our paintbrush. And we're going to paint in the last of the commercial zones because this is going to be like the dividing line between heaven and hell in our town. We're going to go, let's make it a little bit bigger there. That's pretty good. Okay, so this will be our one lone commercial district. There we go. Hang on a second. I'm just going to turn back on notifications. There we go. We are streaming this, so I will need chat for some back seating as we go. Um, sorry, I've been looking away from chat for a little bit. But I, I've just been proceeding with my plan. 
I'm going to go ahead and just put in... Now, we'll have residential zones on this side of town. We are going to try to make those dense because we're going to have quite a lot of people in here. Using an inland water treatment planet that wouldn't pollute the water around our inland city. Probably a good idea in the long run, but isn't that more expensive? And we really don't have enough money to do anything for the most part. Like, water treatment plant, 640 a week. But if we just dump it, 320 a week. Also much cheaper, we notice. I'm not sure how much water it's capable of dumping, but perhaps something that we should think about in the long run. For now, we're going to go with the short-term solution of let's just run away from the problem and hope that it goes away. Um, or we lose track of it and it gets so horribly bad. So we'll put in our power plant. We are going to use natural gas here. Uh, we could have had this island completely separated, except no one would have been able to immigrate to the island. Isn't that just a fantastic image, just to have like a seven-mile bridge right there? Okay, so we're about to turn back on time. Um, we do have the industrial zone ready now, so we're going to make everything a grid, and we're going to make this part of town industrial, and this part not industrial. So, wow, time is back on. Amazing, right? Is the town... Um is this Madagascar? I don't see why it would be. Oh, I've never been to Madagascar. Hang on a second. I forgot about the dreaded tsunami that happens whenever I try to expand the land. So this is a phenomenon that uh, I have seen before in testing. Don't be alarmed. It's just going to continue like this every single time that I try to terraform the land, that there will be this huge flood of water. It's only due to the way that the water dynamics work in this game. Maybe if I were to speed up time slightly something would change but we're just going to have to deal with a wave that will uh sometimes come over our town and we're already losing money so we don't want to lose track of this we also don't have any way of making money yet so i'm not too worried about that we want to make sure that we aren't paying too much for services that aren't doing anything for anyone but okay so we've got some people in um i'm honestly just going to continue right to terraforming again let's just copy this Bite land. Now, you see, I'm turning back on time. I'm going to try to prevent another tsunami, but it's just going to happen. So, unfortunately, sometimes that is just the way that the cookie crumbles. We also want to make sure that we're saving enough money for services and also enough to, uh, well, build out our, uh, build out our residential part of town. Because, as you can see right now, people really want to live in this city. The residential demand is just so high. I have no idea why people would want to live here. But look, the water is coming back up. Further increasing my puzzlement. Put a levy down before terraforming. Now, wouldn't that be expensive, though? That seems like it would be very expensive. I mean, these people have to deal with only, like, pretty much constant flooding on the first floor. Now, there was a house. Not a house. A business in my hometown. I used to live near the ocean moved away from the ocean basically because of this fact but they always had water coming in in the lower level they were like wouldn't it be cool if we built the lobby below ground i mean it was literally cool because they were cool from the water that was touching their feet so yeah not really such a good move i suppose in the long run but here we go these do actually uh meet up perfectly so there we go um we won't be doing grids we'll just be doing sort of like a big letter e with more uh with, with more than, uh, you know what I mean. It looks like, well, now it looks like an E, but we're just going to keep on adding more dashes onto the end. So that's what our city is going to be for a while. And I think that this structure should work more or less. Um, we'll do everything high density because, well, we want a lot of people, and a lot of people want us. And if not, we could just replace it. I'm pretty sure in this game, too, that there isn't a cost to actually... No, you just got to pay for the road. It's not like SimCity in that regard. So, yeah, no need to be so careful. No need to uh, tiptoe around. Uh, but we will extend out this road. We want to keep everything kind of 90 degrees-ish. Um, there we go. That's a nice road. There we go. All right, not perfect, but uh, good enough. Good enough. Um, looks like we still got more demand here. But we also want to just keep... Making sure that, I guess we'll keep this along the road and, well, let's just go out this away. Maybe I kind of made that the wrong direction, but there we go. Good. Okay, so we do have some maniac has decided to build an apartment building, but, like, if his investment goes well, then fantastic. 
dog park for the pleasure increase. I mean, we are uh, running out of money every second. Now, there was a reason I needed $200,000. It was because at the very beginning of the last challenge, there were like dead bodies in all the streets. It was horrible. Horrible. I think this looks like a great place for a crematorium. I know no one's ever really made that statement, and it sounds slightly sus if I should say it. It's kind of like a Sweeney Todd type of statement to make, but so be it. Fine. Um, we want the health clinic, though, near our other residence. So let's go ahead and do... Mm, I'm thinking let's do a police station. Well, there will be a lot of crime near the industry, so let's put the police station right in the middle. We're ready for that already. Good. I know you, you're probably thinking to yourself, we can't afford that. You're probably right, but... Um, well, we're going to just defund everything for a moment. Because there isn't really any crime right now, but I know where it's going to be because I've... I've made these mistakes already. We're also going to raise taxes. God knows why people will move in here, but uh, they're coming. They are. Yes, they are. Look, there's already 104 more on the way. Are they exempt from... What, flood insurance on the island? Of course not. Like, flooding is just... They just put some flex seal on it, probably, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you know what? Maybe dog park would actually. That was something that I left out. Um, let's see. Park with trees. Dog park. You better be right about this dog park, uh, DJ. So help me God. Hmm. I'm wondering. Well, you know, maybe it'll help the industry. Maybe we'll wait until we get deeper into the in into the residential area. Maybe we could slightly lower taxes, too, because I actually did not test out this exact tax structure. So I'm just going to lower it slightly. So please come in. Please continue to enter the city. There we go. Look, we're already generating some tax revenue. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, now the demand is going to start to shift, so we need to be careful here. Okay, we're going to constantly be just bombarded with new buildings that we're unlocking, and we aren't necessarily doing anything about but here we go. Um, let's begin with this. Now, you might start to notice that doo-doo has started to fall into the ocean. It isn't really showing up yet, but we want to keep trying to sort of avoid dealing with this problem for as long as possible, which is... Well, maybe I should have done it on the residential side of town, but we're really going to need to expand both out. It's just going to look like a big eight by the time we're done with it. Um, yeah, hopefully one park will carry the whole island. I'm seeing a better radius. Let's just start... Could just get rid of more of the ocean. All right, now seems like a good time before they've built so that we could avoid flooding them by a lot. I did need to use uh, $300,000 the last time, so I'm confident that everything is going to be just fine from doing this. Uh, we'll see, though, to be completely honest. Maybe I'll just keep doing it more on this side because I don't really want to pay for so many roads. I really don't want to pay for anything, to be completely honest with you, but it's sort of like making the decision of... Well, what do we want to pay for? Hey, thank you for gifting the sub, you anonymous gift sub gifter. Thank you. Now, another thing you'll probably start to notice is that, and this was kind of interesting, when land is underneath water, I'm not sure if I could see it here, uh, it turns into sand. Uh, you can't actually see it here. That's a shame. You can sometimes if you're changing the sea level, which we can't do here. I was using it in a mod before. But grass will gradually start to grow on this sandy land. Isn't that amazing? Of course it is, yeah. It's always been just a, sort of like going completely insane, making Twitch videos, YouTube videos and stuff over the years is just talking to yourself this much. My neighbors must think that Franz Kafka lives here or someone who wrote uh, like a lot of stories. Stories. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really know. Though they do have they do have some very loud dogs, so maybe they can't hear me. Um River of Poop happen. I mean, yes, we will start to, well, we'll see how the tide develops. What I'm really hoping to do is kind of create like a small inlet here so that I could actually create a tide of poop going in one direction. Um we'll see how that works out for us because we can see that the ocean has almost no ebb or flow because I've destroyed all of the rivers, tributaries, and bodies of water. Um, those are actually trees. I don't know how those are still there. 
honestly kind of puzzling. Um, I don't know where the water is flowing from. It looks like we're getting... We've sort of created like a small tsunami out in the water. Do you see this? Yeah, that is rather scary from all the terraforming that we've done. Um, Hello, Mr. F-R-O-G-E man. You are amazing. Hey, you're pretty amazing too. Thank you, schnapps. I don't know why I didn't say froge. I think, I believe that the proper spelling is P-H. Froge, right? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you spell froge. Ah, look. The demand is rising yet again. Yet again. Um, that's good because we really are, we're running out of money. And we need to make sure that we get we reach like equilibrium before the crime begins. And we haven't even gotten all of our city services, so we gotta just Well, we're gonna keep on terraforming here according to whatever people want the most, and apparently people want to start businesses on Nothing Island. Um, I think I can just keep doing this, and now I'm actually a little bit concerned about the poop coming around the other coming around the U bend, so to speak. Um which is a completely fitting pun right here. I think I'm also going to just develop my residential part of town. And I'm going to try to keep pushing the doo-doo further out into the ocean or try to, like, box it out, you know? I would put it completely in, except I think that that might cause um, uh, World War Three, among other problems. But yeah, uh, this is a pretty good place to start. A pretty good place to start. But just look at how expensive the landscaping is. I mean, my other concern is that this will just kind of become a bit of a grind. Which, as for the stream, because there'll be the stream and there'll be the video. For the stream, I might just simulate the grinding because I'm perfectly fine with just letting my computer run. But I'm going to give myself some extra money if I need it. Uh, I mean, I'll break the rules if only so that you guys can see what, it, what this challenge kind of looks like played out. Because, uh, I don't know, I've refrained from doing some of these challenges because some of them can be very grindy. I mean, I personally enjoy it. I get stuff done when the challenge is kind of... Like, making Magnusanti took a very long time. Simulating that entire rebuild. It was, it was bizarre. It was crazy. Oh, look, and suddenly the demand has totally shifted. So I was right. Guys, I knew I was right. Ugh. I was right about everything. Hang on a second. Um, okay, apparently we want commercial. There's never any reason to do anything commercial at all. Um, why would anyone do that? Okay, well, whatever, idiots. Uh, I guess we'll have the commercial zones, like, probably closer to the residential area. Does it say whether they want dense, like, thick? I I'd like the commercial zones to be renamed not dense or or like thin but maybe thick and thin commercial zones like these are some thick housing you know you know like channel the gen z culture a little bit better because it's starting to occur to me that a lot of people think that sim city is based on city skylines they didn't realize how popular it is with the kids these days you know retail next to the factories would you want like if you had to go get some pancake mix with your mom one day you know, or like some other chore that you did as a child. Would you want to have to go to the industrial part of town to get the pancake mix? I didn't think so. I really didn't think so. So, uh, you know, talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. <laughs> no, of course, I'm kidding. But I don't want them to have to make this drive. I'm also noticing that this intersection is going to get very, very busy. We should probably make another street. But it's being blocked by a poop canal. For which matter, we could continuously just keep shoving this further out, like, along with the island. Right now, it kind of looks like a nail gun. Oh, we're running out of power immediately already. Crap. Well, we are generating. Look, guys, we're making money at long last. Wow. We'll put this up to, like, 80%. I don't think we're going to need the full 100%. Okay, 81. Good enough. I don't get what this means, like, at, at day and at night funding. I'm trying to figure out how I can be most opportunistic with that. Well, why don't you have water? Oh, we clearly just haven't piped it to you. Look, there's water in your backyard. All you need is, like, a boiler or something. You just need a stove to separate out the toxins from the, um, from the clear bodily fluids in the water. Yeah, don't worry about that. 
Okay, so strangely enough, even I am surprised that we've become profitable this fast. But look, it was right on time because, well, we're about to enter a, a health spiral because we have, well, we do have a police department, right? I think we actually did build a police department. Wow, we, what an amazing job we did. Um, anyone get this Dr. Strangelove reference? Bodily fluids? Yeah, yeah. You know, speaking of this game, I would really like to play this on my Nintendo. Wait a second, we have a fire! I, I, was, I was too busy thinking about what I was going to do with my, privately with my Nintendo Switch when suddenly a fire broke out. Okay, we'll just put the fire department, uh, well, we'll put it, what if somebody's house goes on fire too? We'll put it there. Everyone liked that. Okay, this is awful. At least most of it will just burn into the sea. Look at that. It caused a fire, uh, jam. Hang on a second. Okay, good. The fire jam is over. Great. Okay, disaster... Well, not really averted, but somewhat averted. Good, that one just went out because it decided to stop being a fire. Um, what is this? So this one's been abandoned I, to, you know, I don't have on the automatically destroy mods, so. Yeah, look, this place will be fine. Yeah, this one looks good, too. <laughs> All right, that's good. Okay, so now we're starting to get the relatable issue of garbage piling up just everywhere uh, in your house. Because you won't pick it up because you're lazy. So we're going to go ahead and, again, just, like, uh, try to avoid really addressing the problem by building a landfill and not actually uh, tackling it head on. And we'll see how this goes. I don't... I'm not fond of the fact, though, that the landfill appears in the game already completely full. What is the island shape? Uh, basically, we're just going to try to keep containing the feces uh, and avoiding having it spill out into the clean water as long as possible. And we're going to shape the island around fecal containment protocols. Not really permanent, but just, you know, avoiding the problem as long as possible. So waste transfer system, we don't... Waste transfer system is a temporary waste... F um, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure that everything... Okay, wait, no, we don't even need that. Never mind. Nope, not what we were looking for. Yep, we just put the garbage there and it stays there forever. Do these things even, like, do you need something else to actually get flow of the garbage out? Now, I mean, the only thing I really needed to do was try to keep this away from our residential zone, which we can already see, like, a color. Like, the residential area is clearly much more pleasant to live in. I'm going to try to avoid building medical facilities for as long as possible as well. I mean, so far we're... We're doing that with flying colors. I haven't paid a, a dime. Not enough workers. Oh, yes, that's right. We do actually have high residential demand. What a surprise. <laughs> Who would want to live here? Okay, well, let me satisfy you people. Uh, let's just get rid of this and put that there. Good. Okay, good. So now someone can work in the 5 and 10 or whatever we've got over here. Uh, I don't see any problems with the rest of the city at all. Everything looks just dandy. Dandy. Oh, and we, of course, we won't actually need to fund the fire department that much. I'm pretty sure that pollution can just happen as well. So we'll do that. Um, yep, that's fine. Well, look, there's all that money that we weren't even making. Okay, unfortunately, now people are starting to get sick because we live in an island that is just surrounded by our own feces and trash. So let's go ahead and, um... Oh, we can't actually afford this. Okay, well... <laughs> well... Speak for yourself. Uh, okay, here now we go. Now we can afford it. Uh, where is the best place to put a medical facility on an island of sick people? Probably in, in their neighborhood or something. Let's go ahead and destroy this person's house. And then we'll just put in a medical facility over here. Uh, as far as we possibly can on this side of the island. Um, now, I do want to get this a little bit further out because its radius is going to cover um, quite far into the industrial zone. And there's nobody living in the industrial zone, you know? So, Poop Port. Um, and yeah, actually, not a bad name. Poop Port is, is quite a good name. Waste transfer system. I don't know why it keeps giving me these messages here. Clearly, we aren't trying to improve anything very much. 
All right, let's just build out slightly more, and we've used up all the money. Okay, there we go. Oh, and we've accidentally caused another tsunami. Well, let's temporarily tell people that they're allowed to build a house over here when we're... Um, actually, we may we may permanently allow that. I, I take that back. Now, fortunately, in this game, you can just designate stuff as, like, yep, build there. That's fine. I'm pretty sure that's a good idea. Okay, great. We're generating even more tax revenue from completely uh, consenting uh, residents who decided to live here. They moved here. They picked up their bags from another state where it would happen to be worse. Who even knows? Who even knows? There's just so much content in this game, it's dizzying. But we probably won't get to any of it. We probably won't. Oh, Soylent Green. Actually, not a bad idea. I'm not sure if there's like some sort of policy where we can just eat our own. Clearly, that wouldn't be so bad. Already two years have passed in our uh, pile of crap city. Now, discount sales is closed probably because everyone who worked there was sick. But we'll bulldoze that. Um, I don't have on the automatic bulldoze, but I don't think anything will be quite as catastrophic as it was in our last city. If you recall our last city, which was even worse. I'm talking about the city where there was just a tsunami every, like, 25 minutes. Not a good place. Look, suddenly people are just dying instead and they aren't being so sick anymore. Isn't that helpful? Ah, isn't it lovely? Like that Stevie Wonder song, isn't it lovely? I mean, we could call it she, but I feel like that's, people call a boat she, you know? She's ready for a voyage. Isn't she lovely? There's no song about an ugly girl, you know? Stevie, only singing about the pretty girls. Nah, I like that song. I like that song a lot. I'm just being facetious. <laughs> See what I did there? Facetious? Because this is... We're playing in the sea? <laughs> uh, isn't she lovely? Actually, that, I think that was my parents' wedding song. I should probably not uh, talk so much trash. <laughs> See, I said trash because we're over the trash depot. Oh my god, just... The puns are unstoppable today. Now, I would normally try to build out more residential land, but it looks like that the poop thinks that it's allowed to go over there because apparently it's flowing this away. So, we've already noticed the first of our myopic addressment of these problems. Low happiness. Oh, we didn't build the dog park yet. It's too expensive. How much is the dog park? Anyway, large playground. Botanical. Oh, wait a minute. No, the dog park is... Oh, wait, we're almost at the dog. Wait, don't we have the dog park? Small park. Dog park. $5,000 for a dog park. I mean, what really is the worst problem right now? $5,000. We are making a good chunk of change every day. Like, our, our, uh... Are our residence is full? We do have six out of... I mean, it looks like we're mostly full and there's still demand, so... You know what? I'm going to say, screw you guys and your suggestions. The adve- All right, well, here. Uh -huh. uh, you know what? I'll do it. I'm going to do it only to pr I like you, DJ, but I'm going to do it to prove you wrong because I, I think I'm right about everything. Uh, but it, it's uh, it's really a problem. I, I really have just kind of a an ego problem. But here we go. Okay, there we go. Got your precious dog park. Now let's see what happens to my $1,300 a month. Okay, it's still going up. All right, pleasantly, I'm being proven wrong. Wow. Actually, I was completely wrong. Oh, there's nothing like having your entire worldview and expectations totally reversed because you're an idiot. Sometimes it's just a relief. Jesus Christ, you're ex absolutely right. Good, all right, let's see if there's anything that I'm right about. Wow, DJ, that was a great idea. Suddenly, everyone getting dogs in town. Wait a minute, now we're losing money again? Well, it did bring in $200 a month net. More people want to live here? Okay, all right, I'm buying it. All right, but the money is going back down. It was only temporary. As the cold temperatures come in, people realize that dogs are in everything. 
I think I'm going to avoid getting health care. Let's just continue with the dog parks. And uh, wait a minute. The police are outside of this building does, after all, look somewhat scammy. But, I mean, clearly people want more, so let's give them what they want. Okay, we're going to right-click there to just copy that down. And now we're going to... Uh, can't you just see the land groaning with pleasure? Like, because we're growing the land. I think that the land likes it. There we go. 640, 680. Strangely in this world, roads are extremely cheap to build. Though terraforming is kind of expensive in real life. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to terraform your backyard. You gotta go to uh, the Home Depot and buy a shovel. It's not popular to call it that, but... You know, I've only seen the word spelled out. I've never heard it actually said, so... Oh, damn it! Now we need to keep bringing over the pipes. I'll allow it. Alright, that's good. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. <laughs> Water Street? Oh, wait, no. Walter Street. Well, we can rename it, right? Water Street. There we go. What? What gives... What you... This street is resisting me changing its name. There we go. Water Street. Spruce Street. All right. More like Idiot Street. I mean, I'm surprised... Uh, well, let's just see, though. We did expand the town, but, it, uh, like, is our population rising? Okay, our population is rising. Slightly, our tax money is rising, but you're right, though. Not as much as when we added a dog park. Water resistant street based kind of fair to be honest with you Okay, the poop is has begun flowing the other way. This is a good point I'm wondering if it's like shuffling around because I keep influencing it in the other direction But that wasn't really as cost-effective as I was hoping it would be We must ask ourselves ask ourselves at this impasse What is the most effective way to spend money? And I think it's going to just be trying to get the doo-doo further out into the ocean while we... here we go. So 5,000, 6,000. All we're gonna need to build is a very cheap road after this. So we've got like some errant doo-doo out in the ocean over there. And like that's okay. It's okay to have some doo-doo just floating around. Like it won't fully contaminate the water. But we want to be careful with how much we allow just as like a free float in the ocean. You know, otherwise people will start to notice it when they're going for a swim. Not that people really Appreciate swim in this town, but... To discuss the finery that is Poop Island. Thank you. It's not my birthday again. Please stop making me look like a liar, but I do appreciate the sub. Thank you, liar in the lurker. I appreciate you coming out of lurking to... Well, you do what you do best. Hey, look at... Uh, wait a second. Poop soda! <laughs> I see, I've never heard, I've never seen the word actually spelled out, so I have to assume that's how it is spelled. Hmm. I don't know about you, well, I'm going to be continuously changing the radio throughout this. I like the, uh, the bass soundtrack in the game, but where is my favorite one? I'm going to go switch over to jazz for a moment, because I think it's funky. And some days I just feel funky. Well, well, well. How now, brown cow? We have reached a point at which demand is still high, but we aren't making enough money to meet the new demand. I think that means... I think that means we need to raise taxes. We can't have people thinking that they're getting away with a good deal, so... Well, that's what we have to do. I mean, are people st As long as the demand stays at, like, equilibrium, yes, good, we've made even more money. Hey, Stately Raven, thank you for gifting the sub. Nice patron there, Stately Raven. Hope you're doing well, Stately Raven. Thank you very much. Pee Pee Poo Poo Island, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have a name. It is Rockwood. I'm trying to think of how that name would be fitting. I'm quite sick with the virus of the century, and your voice is the only thing that isn't assaulting my senses. Hey, Red thank Cobalt, you, hope Cryptid you feel Frogman. better soon. Here's to many more months. Hey, thank you. Hope you feel better. I hope the stream helps you get whatever more of you need. I mean, I'm not building healthcare in this island, but at the same time, like, you know, I hope that you have r r some sort of, at least someone taking somewhat care of you, you know? Man, the demand for commercial is just so high. 
And yet, also, too, the commercial people just keep destroying their own businesses horribly because they keep building the same business over where they just got rid of it. Why does that happen? Is it because these are dense commercial businesses? Sorry, I meant to say thick commercial businesses. Zero out of three workers, what do they need? They need them educated? They need them well educated. Well, we aren't gonna be educated for hundreds of years, so better go somewhere else. <laughs> Try to civilize me. With an S, civilize with an S, like Huck Finn. Imagine buying a waterfront property just for your mayor to shovel dirt in the water, extending the coastline by three miles. That's basically what happened in my hometown, to be honest with you. Okay, now what we're going to be having next is a disease spiral, because I am beginning to see that people are getting sick, so I think I'd better address this sooner or later. Um, you know, I really would have preferred this farther in, but a lot of people are out of power, so we're going to go ahead and just destroy their homes because the business I have in mind is less demanding. Okay, here we go. Um, let's go ahead and wait. Uh, no, there is power, just barely enough. So we're going to put this up to like 80, 88%, and then hopefully they'll move back in. Okay, good. So suddenly an ambulance comes to this guy's house and he just stops. Hang on a second. Can we follow? This is my favorite thing to do in this game. Turn off the heads up display. Oh yeah, free camera mode. It looks like real life when we play like that. You call it stalking, I call it monitoring. Now, let's see what happens now. As the actual physical ambulances arrive at these people's houses, we will start to see the thermometers disappear. Okay, and we got the guy in, good. All right, it looked like it was some sort of pack animal. Maybe not necessarily a man. Okay, good, the thermometers are disappearing. Our city is completely without problems. Some girl got stuck in a tree. I don't honestly know if we can fix that. Um, maybe just have another child. I don't know, one that doesn't get lost in trees and... Uh, I don't know, maybe that's a bit cynical of me. Ah, this smooth, relaxing jazz has made me ignore the m lack of money for long enough that now I can focus on the things that make my town go round. Okay, I'm noticing one problem is that I should have put the commercial district over on this side because that way I could have uh, smoothed out the commercial district over here, but alas, it was not meant to be. So what we're going to end up doing is, well, we might end up the sort move the source of the water, but I, I think... I think I have some idea of what I'm going to do now. Um, well, we have such a high demand for commercial property because, well, obviously there's commercial demand in this town. Developers just want to get going on all the uh, unrealized opportunity that Poop Island could bring to their business. Uh, we, we've spent already all of the money, which I didn't notice again. Um, and I'm also noticing that I put the dog park right in the intersection, so that... Uh, we're just gonna have to destroy another man's house, unfortunately. There it goes. All right, it, fortunately it made just such a clean line through the street that, well, really no one notices that he was gone. It was like his house was just supposed, to, it was like it was never there in the first place. Um, never there in the first place. We're gonna go, whoops, I didn't mean to pause. Hang on a second, let's just uh, pause. Uh, we're gonna call this, I'm just gonna start naming these because I'm just gonna make some saves. I wanna save like milestones. Think of it kind of like a big photo album for our future city on YouTube. Uh, you know what? Let's let's give it a title too. What? How could we characterize our situation? Uh, begin commercial. Yeah, there we go. It's like we have to write out a little tweet every time because we have only a few characters in the save file name. Because well, somebody didn't have let us have long enough strings in our save file names. So now we are disenfranchised when we play Cities Skylines from. Being able to write longer things to remember our saves. And this, this, uh, well, it comforts me to talk about it with you. Ethanol Bob and Briab, thank you for the subs, and Remarkable Reptilian. Uh, I see what we're doing with the animal and the alliterative name theme here. <laughs> I'm like, it's like, it makes me feel like I'm a trendsetter. 
see, they keep just launching these three failure commercial enterprise. Why does this keep happening? Let's try to make it low density. Maybe if they just had less ambition about their businesses, they wouldn't, well, flop all the goddamn time. Oh, jeez, Louise. I mean, this is sort of how I see it, but at the same time, too, like, don't you think that progress will begin to become exponential? Because take a gander at our population right here. I know I unfairly unlocked all milestones, but that's because I had to and if I wanted to get the scenario set up, so ignore that. I also think that unlocking milestones is stupid in this game. I think you should just be able to do whatever you want, whenever you want. Uh, here we go. Not enough workers! We need out juniors! <laughs> Why does that sound like that? Um, all right. I mean, like, basically just brute force. Brute force. Though I think that if we stick with, like, a square-ish sort of embankment here, like, that's going to be the most efficient way to get the most stuff. There we go. And it lets me know when I'm out of money. It's like the bank when I overdraft every single day. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you ever just try to go out and do anything? And the bank is just like, wait a minute. <laughs> you don't have any money. Yeah. Thanks, bank, for letting me know again. All right, now we are running out of water. No, I lied. Hang on a second. I am, I enjoy struggling with the radio. Like I. to see this dream alert. Thanks for making it a little better. Calm the mind. That's good because I was feeling kind of stressed. Ah, uh, it's like the radio knew what I was thinking. Uh, now you ever get in the car like the other day I was driving the true story actually I'm gonna be dead serious right here I was I was listening to the radio and the cranberries song linger just came on and I was like ah oh, that really hit me like and then it went into my into my playlist for YouTube music and I still listen to it and I I just start sobbing uncontrollably whenever I hear the cranberries yeah Drink the doo-doo water. I mean, hopefully, well, hopefully they'll be okay. I mean, all that we have here now is a lack of workers. I'm conf- uh, actually, no, I'm not confused. Everything is going about as I expected it to. Yeah, the bank is out of money. It can't be me. Well, now we're already at 25% full. Well, we could build that thing that pollutes monstrously, but does generate power, right? I mean- Hang on a second. Isn't there, like, biodegrade... Biodegrading? I'm pretty sure that's a thing. That's a physical phenomenon that exists. Stop telling me to drink the doo-doo water. I... Clearly, look, we've done a great job. It just looks like a slight stain. And actually, as it grows out, to be fair, we can just slightly raise the arms of the island like it's giving a great big hug to the doo-doo stain in the sea. You know. Mystic Quest, thank you very much for the five dollars. Hey, thank you very much. I don't know why I didn't read it out, but I, I do appreciate it. You don't have to give me anything, but I, I hope you're enjoying yourself. But you do, maybe your watch time. I, well, you don't have to, but I, w I would really like it if you if you watched it. Well, anyway, only if it's making you have a better day. I, I hope your day gets better, though, regardless of whether you're watching or not. I hope that even when you turn things off, that things stay good. Okay, hang on a second. We're out of money again. This looks like a job for the bank. Um, are we reaching... Is there a limit to human growth? This was on the Economics Explained video I was watching recently. Yes, of course there's crime because they don't have water. You guys watch Economics Explained? Sometimes I, I do it. I like to eat lunch and just... I get, like, Cassandra complex, and I just, like, to hypothesize about the end of the world. Like, yeah, we're, we're gonna run out of everything, you know? And then when I'm satisfied and I've eaten lunch, I feel good. Hang on a second. Oh, no, these businesses have been abandoned. Probably due to the lack of workers, though. So then that does actually make sense. But I don't understand, like, the life cycle of let's move here before we've explored the market and seen if it makes any sense to open up like, an environmental agency on an island where they just constantly pollute, you know, or whatever kind of business would have a very hard time here. 
Like, I don't know, um... What wouldn't it make sense to open up? Hang on a second, let's just appreciate the grand scale. I mean, actually, it, it is slightly larger now. Look at this. I mean, we started out and we were like this, and now we're uh, like five times the size. <clears throat> Try libraries. Oh, and education? All right, fair, fair. Maybe it's because they demanded well-educated people, but that would be expensive. You know what, DJ? If DJ, if you're suggesting it, thou who hast suggested the dog park, let's move it. Damn it, I love fighting the radio. I swear, somebody's got to make a mod that avoids all that stuff. Good, we're, we got some kind of like Herbie Hancock kind of jazz going on right here. Uh, we are going to have to save up for a school because everyone's stupid. Oh, this is a very good song. Actually, this was one that barely didn't make it into the last video. I, I had listened to the entire Jazz Station soundtrack because it is quite good. This one sounds kind of like uh, Jerry Martin inspired, which I, you guys know if you've watched any of my videos, I really love the Jerry Martin Sims soundtrack stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, like opening a cold stone in Siberia. Well put, Stately Raven. Thank you very much. Okay, I don't see how Elder Care is edgy. Oh, wait, no, that's... Um... Okay, so basically, if you go to elementary school, you go from being uneducated to... I mean, you can't really go to being highly educated. Like, you could do some basic math, but... I mean, we are... We are red with dumb. We are red with the stupid. So let's go ahead and put the elementary school barely still on the island. Well, I mean, look, we have such a, a generous amount of money to continue with. I'm also going to go ahead and say you got to start somewhere. I mean, it makes sense to just take all the stupid people's kids and throw them in school. Yeah, trust us. You don't have a degree. We don't really know what we're doing either. We'll just do trial and error. We're going to ex we're going to expend effort in this general direction of uh, being less dumb, and I think that's actually kind of a noble goal. Negative thirty five dollars. I mean, you know, I'm only expanding this part of the island because. Well, why am I? Because now suddenly we're in industrial demand. I think we'll continue like this. Hmm. I'm trying to see if there's anything that's really going to interrupt my flow. Like, you know, my vibe and flow? Of which I'm so fond of talking about with you, chat. Hmm. I mean, it seems to me almost like, look, this commercial demand, it was here, like there was love for it. But since we can just basically destroy everyone's livelihood for free and then replace it with more housing... I don't see why we shouldn't just do that, because for some reason this has just come back. Yeah! Honestly, a better way to get taxes. Okay, let's see how they're doing on the stupid now. Where is the education? Read a book, you dingus. Hey, look, we've already got 2% of our people educated. Wow, you can see that their houses are becoming slightly more... Well, only like slightly more yellow over here, rather than like the deep morbid red that these ones are. Hmm. Set the laws for... to younger people. Oh, wait a second. How do we set the laws? Oh, this must be under policies. Okay, this is great. Wow, I never actually explored this part of the game. Thank you, the Gamerson. Poop waters may destroy the desirability. Once our island is big enough, eco-inland water treatment plant. Oh, is that actually harming our desirability? Hang on a second. Let me go see. I didn't realize that poop water does that. Citizen happiness... Um, is that desirability as well? Where is desirability? Levels. I believe that's historical levels. Health. Education. Desirability. Land value? Okay, I'm beginning to see this now. Okay, so the land... Yes, so the industrial land and the land along the coasts that has... Uh, well, this land is worthless, but the land along the coast that haven't been afflicted by doo-doo surface area raining down upon, those are the most valuable lands. Okay, so then that does make sense. 
But I mean, like, people still want to move in. So yeah, eventually in time, we will want to go over to water treatment plant. These are good things. This is actually like kind of a primer in how to handle the doo-doo, which is a lot of for-profit education. All education facilities become for-profit and students are required to pay tuition and fees. Reduces citizens' unhappiness. Okay, well, we want to do this because we need to make more money at the value of not learning as much. I think that seems like a pretty good idea. Education boost. Um, boost the education to make young adults automatically choose education over working. Uh, taxation and city planning. High-tech housing, small business enthusiast. Uh, enthusiast. Okay, there's no policy for handling the doo-doo. Extra insulation. How do we force the children? I mean, I know how to profit more from the children. What have the children ever done for me? <laughs> the children? Isn't that a Mr. Krabs thing? <laughs> harsh prison. <laughs> harsh prison census. Education boost. Yeah, I don't think I can see this. Poop bots. Is this a thing? I don't know if you guys are just trying to mess with me, though. Automated sorting, book fair. I think we should just go for the things that make us quick money. Only electricity for heat, no electricity. Oh yes, we can do that as well if we want to save money on that. Water usage, power usage, taxation. Let go of leisure, encourage biking. Big business benefactor, no rebuilding. I know the land is going to continue to, oh, it's not on. Oh, you unlock policies. Okay, well then that's helpful. All right, I'm, I think I'm confident that we can just get, uh, I mean, keep avoiding the problem for a long time. So let's go ahead and we'll just create more coastline. And I'm trying to think of how we could like minimize the surface area that's in contact with the doo-doo. So here we go, 20,000 out. Oh, actually it was, ah, it was industrial demand. Okay, that might set us back, but it's good because it's prevented the doo-doo from coming further around. Um, okay, I think we can just keep building over here. Now my fear is that we start sweeping it further out into the ocean. I know that seems unlikely. Hang on a second, this is a bit too chill for my vibe. I'm feeling slightly more stressed right now. Let's just go back to the main one. I found that one undistracting. <sighs> like, you ever feel like you, like maybe more stress would help you? It's like, um, there's a phenomenon that they call Parkinson's Law, where work expands to fill the space that you, uh, this is a real thing, you can look it up. The space that you give it. So, like, if you wait till the last minute to write a paper, well, it'll only take you a few minutes to write the paper, prob in all probability. Um, but if you give it a lot of time, well, you're just gonna be lazy, you'll do other stuff, you know, poop your pants and things like that, when you're supposed to be writing the paper. So, in some ways, sometimes it does kind of make sense to wait till the last minute to do some things. Looks like we can just kind of switch around these houses and that's not going to hurt anybody. Nobody was ever hurt by that. Uh, but we do need to bring the water around. Yeah, that's important for the dents. And the water purifiers drop down a deal with if worse comes to worst. I mean, the truth is that with no flow, the water, the poop water will just sort of stay there. Ah, uh, no, they demand more power. Let's bring this up to 97. We're going to need to keep on increasing it. We're also probably filling up with garbage now, which actually leads me into my next segue. Yep, we're at 44% full. We've still got a good amount of time to kill, but eventually we will need to start burning the garbage into the air. Uh, hopefully we'll have built enough of the... <laughs> this is like the worst possible city that you could live in in terms of pollution. But look, we just broke, what is that, $2,000 a month? A week! Even better. Uh, I mean, like, ideally, we could just push it all out into the ocean. Maybe a bunch of meteors will strike here, causing tsunamis that level up. I mean, we're great at dealing with floods, but not so much with this. Is there somebody... <laughs> you think we're going to build over to that right now? <laughs> no way. Everybody comes over a one... <laughs> I really should have made the bridge one way. No, it, it's going to help us with our booming export game. Look, there really isn't much of a way to get back out onto the other highway here. Unless people just change their mind like they just see it in the distance. <laughs> and then they're just intimidated. Burn the... Yeah, we could eat the garbage, you know? 
16,000. Hmm. You know, it really isn't turning into the lungs I thought it would. You're right. It, like, it looked kind of like lungs, but now it's sort of just turning into... Actually, yeah, it will be lungs. I'm wondering if I made it more, like, up like this, though, and I made it look like an eight. Would that make cause enough of a change? Catalyze a change. Good. Okay, well, one thing is happening passively, and people are starting to slowly get educated, like... There's crap in your backyard, son. Quite literally. It might be making them dissatisfied, though, so that would be, like, a kind of a concern. What is the demand for? The demand is still mainly for industrial. I think we could keep on increase, increasing our paycheck from day to day, though, so let's just keep on building this out. I think that this is going to be good. Continue just avoiding the problem. Now, the beauty of... Actually, you know, I don't really have to worry about that side because this area will be, like, kind of always undesirable. All we need to do is prevent it from ever getting back to this thing, because we just don't want that water to be unclean that they're drinking. Um, I don't care if the land is, like, a little bit undesirable, I just don't want them to die. Like, they shouldn't know that they're dying. It shouldn't be that bad, you know what I mean? Like, I'm of that mindset. I am... It's kind of like Fyodor Dostoyevsky's short story, The Grand Inquisitor, you know, like, at least... Like, shield the people from knowing about what it is that ails them, you know, and then maybe that will save them. I will take their pains unto myself as mayor of the town. Only I can see that everyone lives in just a giant dump. Now, fortunately, the dude who hasn't gotten into our pipe system, God forbid that that could happen, because I can see this pipe starting to jut out of the land and almost make contact with the water, but they are, like, Sealed. Alright, looks like we need to destroy a lot more businesses. I didn't really foresee this as being one of my responsibilities, but it looks like we had only enough smart people who graduated from fifth grade who are now able to work in a department store because everyone else f couldn't figure it out. Burn the trash. Uh, I don't think I unlocked it yet. No, I've unlocked everything. I, I cheated in all the unlocks. I think that's fair. Did I check out the new Sims? Oh, did they announce The Sims 5? I think I heard about that somewhere. Like an article, though. Like, you, have other YouTubers been checking it out? No, I don't know. Most of my content has been, like, nostalgia-based on it. Not really about uh, the newer ones. I still have to get to, like, The Sims 2 and 3. I'm not even done with 1 yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, Yinny Boo Boo. Thank you very much for the sub. For the three months of sub. Yeah, I'm thinking that the incinerator will help, though. But so far, I mean, like, this strategy is... Well, surprisingly, it's working. I thought that there would be more roadblocks. Or, shall we call them water blocks? But, I mean, it's it's expanding splendidly. And to be completely honest with you, I think that the growth is going to start to get exponential. Well, maybe not exponential, but, like, to a degree, it, it, it will start increasing at a faster rate. Until I'm wondering... Like, if the need for services is going to foil our pursuit of the good. You know what I mean? Alright, I think it's time for another street. Um, although we do want to keep creating more coastline because... Oh gosh, I'm flooding the entire town! Look at it go! Oh, isn't it horrible? Oh, wait a second. I just learned how to kind of cheat the whole system. Do you see what I just did there? Man, what a five-head move that was of me. I'm just going to congratulate myself for this a little bit. Look, I expanded out the road into the water without paying for the land. That seems like an abuse of the, of the system. All right, we're going to bring it out just a little bit more and see, can we just build this road slightly further? Yeah, we can. See what I just did? Wow. I can't believe how smart that was. Um, man, roads are nothing to build. Jesus Christ. I can't believe that. All right, well, we'll just keep on relying on that horrible move. Uh, it's funny because as you build houses, everything just gets horribly unbalanced here. Well, we'll continue to do it. That was like an entire city block right there. But yeah, I think that the, the key here is just going to keep expanding the coastline. So what we're going to get is just a long line of stuff that looks like this. 
We might not even necessarily need to fill it out, but the way that I've done these roads, we could do some sort of, like, zigzagging shoots and ladders sort of move here. But see, like, I just built that, and already I have $6,000 again. And it's gonna keep going up just like that. It's like magic, everyone. It's just like magic. Okay, everyone got sick at work? Oh no, these are houses. Alright, we will expand that budget slightly. Okay. Okay. Alright, feel better. I hope you feel better. Multimedia center. Oh, we got some of the people there. Not enough educated workers. Okay. Ugh. I mean, here are our choices. We could either allow our workforce to lag, though it seems to me as though they kind of want... People are graduating from elementary school now, which they still have further existential questions going on here. We've got 18% of our citizens graduated. Um, we aren't even at capacity yet because maybe people just aren't having children. I certainly wouldn't in this kind of world. You know, just don't why cause any more pain. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're not that smart. Keeping getting free land until we reach someone else's island to claim. Well, there are no islands. I mean, I could have built myself islands to build toward, but I felt like that would have been against the spirit of the challenge, so I didn't do it. So we're just going to destroy all of these businesses again. And we're going to try to educate our population a little bit more, because apparently just people are that dumb. Okay, now the high school is going to be 24000 to build, and what is that, 560 a week? That is rather expensive, actually. But honestly, we don't really need to pay for the whole thing. But the thing is, I mean, the other facet to the philosophical debate is the fact that, well, if we get started on high school right now, well, it's really more of a civic debate. But nonetheless, nonetheless, um, I'm thinking that high school would be a good thing to invest in right now, even if it sets us back in the short term. Everyone's like, why would we build a high school? Most of us won't survive. But, I mean, then I have to interject with, like, well, I'm making intergenerational decisions because I'm basically playing God in this world, and I'm... I mean, basically, as mayor, I'm immortal, you know? So, listen to what I'm saying, you know? It's like that... It's like Gandhi used to say. What was that old Gandhi quote? It's a great quote. I, I know Gandhi had nothing to do with what's going on over here, but... Yeah, like, learn as if you'll live forever, but live as if you were to die tomorrow, or something like that, right? Library. I mean, library would be okay. Community schools. Come on, uh, allows children to get education and grow into education. Alternative to elementary school. I don't think that's good at all. Small bonus to education within building radius. No, guys, this doesn't make any sense. Don't... You don't move on to just live in the library. Unless if... Unless if, I mean, you know, that's where I'd probably go if I had no place else to go. Um, hmm. I'll just build it here, right next to the failure of an elementary school. There we go. Where do I go? Right next door to just get slightly less stupid than you were before. All right, let's go ahead and figure that into the budget because we certainly don't have enough to pay for all of this. Um, let's just not pay as much money for them. I mean, nobody's going to school at night. Except people in night school, that is. That's fair. Quacking zombie in KVI Tviv. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. Buses for the schools? Well, we don't really need... Uh, people mostly live nearby them. And if you don't live near them... Too bad. Too bad. Now, we are going to need two highly educated. I hope these buildings can still survive even without well-educated people. And let's try to figure out, are, is the high school even educating people? Why aren't we able to get information on the high school? Uh, are we able to? On, off. Relocate building. Oh, you can do that? Open the budget panel. Hang on a second. Where do we get the... Oh, no, it was under the educational view. You actually need to have that turned on. Wow, what a smart boy. Oh, I'm beginning to understand. Good! Alright, so everyone is a teenager in town. Eligible 356. You know, okay, so this is actually good information. Is it because I'm not funding the buses why they aren't going? Why not? Why ever not? Graduated. Okay, so people in only a few of the buildings are going. 
Now we see why you're dumb, because you just chose to be. Good, we're actually starting to get a, a higher proportion of people becoming well-educated. They took chemistry. Maybe, like, Walter White was their teacher, but he actually succeeded, and they are now awake. You know? Yeah. Residents, yeah, the residents, well, is, um, is there a way that we can actually visualize the amount of stupidity in town? And in fact, there is. Uh, do they get more green, actually? So, what does green mean? Uh, educated is in, like, light green. I, I don't know exactly what color the highest level of education is. Graduated high, efficiency high. Do they get greener? They may get greener as that happens. The other thing that I think is of a concern is, um, where is our bus radius? Does that work, like, in SimCity in this game? Like, you can defund the buses, um, and then you just cater to a smaller population. Buses affect range of school. Do we, is that why we need to fund education? Hang on a second. We've lost track of the doo-doo while we've been thinking about how stupid we are. <laughs> Analyzing our own stupidity. Oh, they go bright green and blue is the highest. Okay, that makes sense with the efficiency thing. I'm learning about this game as you guys are too. Okay, some of the land is still valuable, but that's okay because we need like a variety of things. Ah, so it must be this. Graduated, okay. And the efficiency. You know what I could probably do? And let's go ahead and start trying to make a crossroads here. Um... I know that eventually, in time... I think I'll end up building this here or here. Probably on this one, just to keep it simpler. I'm going to destroy many people's homes, which will adversely affect us in the short run in order to answer a question that I have about school. Okay, so that actually does sort of confirm what I was saying, in that it appears as if this is giving a radius out to these buildings and these people are educated who live near the school. Honestly, genius. Genius. Oh, so that's the... Oh, it all makes sense to me now. Because yes, high school is bigger. Because life is bigger and the kids are bigger in general in, in high schools. Okay, I think that's enough stupid talk for now. Let's go ahead and build back out the industrial side of town because that part has been lacking for a bit. We do have another good $29,000. Not too bad, not too shabby, not too shabby. Let's build here because it is getting dangerously close to rounding the bend. There we go. As our population gets smarter, they're going to start to see what our master plan is. Libraries educate adults, otherwise younger people will not work through public high school uni- Oh! So we do actually need the libraries. Is that so? I thought it was just sort of for like, don't forget everything you learned in ki uh, class, kids. So then perhaps we will need a library. We do have the money to sustain it somehow. And speaking of which, I can't believe that we've managed to create a city that does that. How is this actually working? How could this happen? Hang on a second. I'd say that we've reached milestone two here. We are educating the stu stupid people. Okay, there we go. I mean, the... Yep, yeah, all right, we're going to get a big lung. You're going to get a big lung. Anyway, soon they'll be going into offices complaining about their commutes. Look, the businesses are actually surviving. Wait a minute, no, these people are educated. The grid system is actually deterring our school effectiveness. Remedy that by making pedestrian paths connecting the in between those. Oh, really? Oh, wait a minute, so if we did pedestrian paths, hang on a second. How very pedestrian of you to say that. Don't you love how that's actually a word? Hmm. Bridges and piers, wait a minute, no, this isn't the thing I was looking for. There is a pedestrian path, but where is it? I believe it's at the end. Yep, there it is. Two-lane gravel road. Sports load. Wait a minute, no, is it that? Where was the footpath, guys? I feel like I had this. Or was it here? Toggle snapping. Landscaping, thank you. Ah, uh, yes, there it is. Okay, so bike paths, pavement paths. 
Nicer to walk on. They offer access to pedestrians. This is a something I didn't know. Oh, so then these people can walk between the buildings instead of just destroying the buildings. All right, well, then I'll allow that. I'll allow that. I mean, eventually, honestly, I think that grids are the only way to go. Square. Sensible. American. Well, why the hell would I do that when it's going to destroy two buildings? Ah, it's a good tip. It's a good tip, though. I, I give that to you. I think I think I'm gonna go for my grids only because I understand them with my smooth reptile brain. Eventually we will. Maybe we'll try it in an experimental section of town, and then if that works over there, we'll expand it out like a disease to the rest of the town. Still, though, folks, folks are demanding things. The businesses aren't shutting down. And, well, let's check on the education level. Education does take a long time to kind of come along. Okay, so actually, some of them barely make it through you know, um, elementary school and high school. So we really, we have a lot of eligible kids. Hmm, drama club. What happens if we just start refunding it? I mean, I don't mean like refunding it, I mean like funding it higher. Does, does that increase the range? Take a look at that. Okay, that did improve the range significantly. What happens if we totally... I mean, like, we're getting this street isn't green. Now if we totally do it... I'm doing some experimental stuff the likes of which no one has ever seen. Let's give 150% to the educators. See what they can do. Really not that much, to be completely honest with you, but maybe we need to give it a minute. Oh, actually, the high school has got, like, full range now. Maybe I'll continue. Yes! Yes! Underground pedestrian paths. Wait, that's a thing? Jesus, hang on a second. Maybe that is a good idea. Hang on a second. This, this song is makes me feel like something momentous is happening, but really, it's just... It's just more of the same. Oh yeah, how do we do that with page down? Okay, so how about this? If we do a pedestrian path from, hang on a second. Here's the elementary school, so we just like poop out the path over on this side of town. And then we put it underground. And then we put the path going this way so that children can walk underneath a long dark tunnel in order to get, are you telling me that this is what I've been missing out in this game? Put an underground pet. This is so bizarre and it's probably criminal. I'm gonna do it just to say that I did it. But it's probably very expensive as well. Alright, let's see how that goes. Yeah, that's right, children. Just go by the pier. At least I figured out how to do it. Go through the underground tunnel after school. Jimmy rides the bus. Timmy goes through the underground tunnel, and Brian's a walker. Oh, I need to connect it to a road? Okay, all right. Thank you. So we'll just destroy this these people's business. Oh, there we go, all right, it's connected. And then I guess we'll poop it out on the other side of the elementary school, there we go. So we've done this, and then we'll just say, put that right there. And then, well, we need to extend this road, which we'll do with my genius strategy. Ah, uh, wrong button. Wait a minute, no, that is right. Yeah, I gotta landscape first. Okay, so if we do this, this may actually save us. You know, underground tunnel to school, kinda badass, kinda badass. And we'll use this to build more houses as an excuse. Oh, look, here comes another I'm tsunami, everyone. Making sure this YouTube video turns out well. Thank you, DJ. I d honestly, like, bless you, because if I didn't have you here, none of us know it. All 951 of us have no idea how to play this game. Which is probably the best time to play a game, because when you know too much about what you're doing, then, you know, it, it's just not as, it's just not the same. It's just not the same. Okay, there goes the river again. Well, let's see if that changed the radius, though. Uh, I mean, I did kind of poop out the road on the wrong side, but... 
I don't know. I'm going to leave it there because I like having a secret underground tunnel in town. And look, I mean, more people are eligible for education. The green has extended. People in these far away apartment buildings are getting educated. I think they're doing fine. And the ones who don't, well, they'll just have to go off and work in the salt mines. Let's continue building high density residential areas so that the children can get into the underground tunnel and go to school. Very nice. I think I'm just gonna keep on doing this. Here we go. Yes, now I recall why I invested in the long boy arm. Good, flood the business, flood the business. Though I have had, unfortunately, I will say, stagnant pools of water begin to form as I do this. Um, oh no, actually it did go out through the rest of town, but the rest of town is nice and flat. Mostly. Occasionally something gets past my radar. Okay, and it looks like we're beginning to see the filling of the town with garbage. So at this point, I'm going to embark upon the next uh, leg of our quest, which is going to be burning the garbage, but we're probably going to want to start to get this further away from the people. So we'll build out an industrial land further this way, and I think we'll put it, like, somewhere over here. Because we want to this to be pretty deep in the industrial zone. People, generally speaking, don't like having garbage burned overhead. Um... Ah, snap the pedestrian parks in the paths that have little blue circles in It's It appears as if they have connected thus, and I am seeing people run into, really running a little too fast into the underground tunnels. I don't know why. Is anyone coming out of them? Hmm, wait a minute. This is a little bit problematic. This way. This, okay, there we go. Connected. The public can use the underground tunnel now. Hmm, we've got to raise this. Now, it does begin to seem like we... Oh, actually, we really... Well, we sort of do. For now, we do. When we get our second incineration plant, that's going to vastly increase our power production. I also believe that that thing is armed with some garbage trucks. Otherwise, how else would they pick it up? Yes. I mean, there's a lot of work to be done. But I think a lot of it lies, you know, it's like, um, it's like Confucius once said, the journey of, uh, improving your city and city's skylines, uh, this might be a little bit of a paraphrase right here, but, you know, begins by not seeing the whole mountain, but just, like, taking the mountain underfoot. Uh, or something, I uh, actually, that wasn't him at all, I just said that right now, but... I mean, maybe he would have if he were... If we have to project if Confucius were in my situation right now. What would he have said? And we want to try not to... Uh, we want to try, try to go by the spirit of what he would have said, you know? Because he can't speak for himself right now. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that, that's it. We really didn't get very far with this at all, um, but we're running out of power, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this anyway, probably against my better judgment. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and build this, like, right about to there. And good, we didn't trigger the bridge. Harvey Street, what an... More like, um... Uh... Uh... Um... Misery. <laughs> See how it rhymed with Harvey? Misery. Sort of? Uh, not really at all, but... Well, whatever, we're, we're gonna be embarking on the next fantastic stage of our journey in a moment. Oh, Jesus Christ, $30,000. Well, let's just enjoy the view for right now. All right, I wanna share something with you. So, whenever you zoom out here, it actually rotates the camera to whatever direction you're rotating. Isn't that amazing? I, I thought that it would just keep going out to one direction, so that was kind of amazing to me. Actually, we could name it Ian Avenue after the hurricane that's about to strike us uh, in Florida. There's a hurricane on the way on Thursday, so I'm trying to I'm trying to do this ahead of time so that I'm not streaming during the hurricane. Because I'll probably be battening down the hatches. Well, why are you sick? Hang on a minute. Um, 
They're probably sick because we profited from their education. You would be too. This is a song if I've ever heard one. Now I'm trying to figure out what this sick thing means. Like, are they so sick that they're wearing earmuffs? What is that? Yeah, those are earmuffs. So sick that your ears got cold. The worst kind of sick. Um, hmm, actually, I, I, I revoke what I said before. You know, um, the garbage is beginning to piling up. Noise, oh, maybe it's the noise pollution too, to be fair. Yeah, there is a lot of traffic. Oh, we can set the speed limit for a street? How do we set the speed limit? Do we do that on the street itself? Misery Street. Okay, that seems perfectly fine to me. We could adjust the road. Or is that just like a policy thing? Throwing trees in. Guys, I don't have time to decrease noise pollution. I'm about to build a garbage incinerator. We're just going to have to tolerate a lot of it before it, anything gets any better at all. We are without power. Wait a second. Um, Why are we without power? Fortunately, this will kill two birds with one stone. Well, I mean, I mean that both figuratively and literally, because probably the pollution will kill at least two birds after this is over. Um, probably many more. I would have to assume. Okay, so this is going to create doo-doo everywhere, but this is like the doo-doo part of town. I can't think of anything that generates more doo-doo than the coal power plant. So let's go ahead and do that. Our funding should cover more, and uh, does this thing have... Oh, uh, we got seven garbage trucks, though it doesn't have enough water. Because apparently we also need water to add into this uh, fuselage. Jesus. Okay, and they build higher. Spurred on by the smell of the air pollution. The feel of disease in their veins. And this is kind of bothering me slightly. I know it's not very cost effective here, but I'm just going to do this anyway. I just want these goddamn houses covered with the water. Okay, there we go. We've built pipes underneath the pollution. So they're really doing it out there. Okay, and the garbage is being removed slowly. I'm wondering if the garbage removal will... Good, look, everyone's getting educated. Wow. Good for you. So smart. A plus. There we go. Look, okay, the town isn't so stupid anymore. I mean, they haven't been to high school. Uh, actually, well, they've all been to elementary school, so they know their ABCs, but they don't know, like, the quadratic formula. Adjust intersections. Alternatively, run a tunnel. Man, there's so many options here. Oh, use policies to push people to use them. I don't know. I think that my strategy is actually working pretty well. And that for some reason, the high school's capacity has risen. Maybe the people have gotten smaller. Like, and more well-behaved because of the men, uh, brain damage and, like, the lack of health care that we've done. We're turning into, like, uh, the Netherlands of the past before they introduced health care. And um, they all got tall from getting... Well, more health care and being above sea level. I mean, below sea level, but then dealing with it somehow. No one really knows how they did. All right, let's go. With with oh, I hate Stella, the ads. The only morning show uh, I, that one has bad music on it. Okay, here we go. Some nice, calming classical music to take us through the next 250 years of gradual land expansion. $30,000. Look at how much land we're creating. Just an insulting amount of land. It would make uh, it would make Noah sad that he had built his ark to see this. You know, actually, to, to be honest with you, though, you're right. Like, why would I invest so much in tunnels when they're just going to get flooded with poop in good time? Like, this happened in New York City. I, I did actually experience this natural disaster. It was actually somewhat, like, horrific. If, if you've been through, like, a more prolonged natural disaster. But natural disasters are no joke. The thing is that, like, only the people who are really, like, right in the middle of it can tell you the straight story. Like, uh, like we had Hurricane Sandy in New York. 
And like, actually the response was pretty good, but we were basically just homeless for a few weeks. Like, I, I remember it was just during a very impressionable time. I was, I think I was 17 years old and we just had like, people were rude too. Like when you went out and, um, it was back when I lived on Long Island and people were just like mean to us because they were like, ah, you're coming from wherever. It was just like, Jesus. So that was when I learned about uh, Inland Long Island. I, I like it. It also contains that car dealership that will not be named that I dislike. Um, <laughs> so funny, so funny. Sorry. Bringing back bad memories. Bringing back bad memories. Here we go. No, nothing but good thoughts in this stream. Nothing but good thoughts. But yeah, natural disasters, not funny. Anyway, our tunnels were flooded. The subways were flooded. Basically, the entire uh, the entire place was just bad. All right, so we we got full garbage now. Nice. Um, operating normally. Incineration plant collects and burns. It has a lot of garbage. I'm wondering if we're collecting it fast enough because we are going to start to get garbage pile up, and actually this can become a horror, a horrific horror spiral. Hmm. Um, Hang on a second, this pensive classical music is making me consider my decisions better. How much is another dump? Only 4,000. Okay, we're getting another dump, everyone. Uh, I just, I simply need to avoid the problem a little bit longer. Uh, we're gonna have like street number two. What is this? Uh, Davies Street? We're just gonna start renaming everything bad names. Sad names. Here we go. Um, this is going to be, uh, trash, trash, trash street. There we go. Trash. Why can't I say trash? There we go. Trash street. I say street. Some people say street, but I just, I'm, I'm built different. There we go. 4,000. Good. We got more garbage. I mean, we, we all knew that, but maybe they'll relocate the garbage to the other one. Empty building to another facility. There we go. At least they're bringing it somewhere else. It, could we cancel that now? All right. Now this feels a little bit too much like Handel to me. There we go. That's my song. 99%. Okay, we'll keep emptying out that garbage until the other one is more or less 50-50 so that we get use out of both of our trucks there. Good. Yeah, hopefully we'll get the uh, we'll get the, all the garbage in one area, and then we c yes, that's right. Then we can start to sanitize the garbage. Now, why isn't the water coming over here? It could be because we didn't fund it, but didn't we sort of fund it? I'm wondering if this is just another bug. Let's try raising the funding and see if our fortunes change. Hmm, the flute is making me so calm. Oh, it's because there's the dump over here that I didn't see it. All right. Yay, Verily. Good enough. All right. 97% full. We'll send out the garbage trucks again. Go get them, boys. Go get them, boys. There we go. Nice, nice. Yeah, Handel's water music would be a problem. Honestly, based, pretty based comment. Oh, wait a minute. Why, why don't we have any power now? Stop complaining so much. Here we go. All right, I'll give you 125% of the power. All right, okay, good. At least the problem is solved. At least the problem is solved now. Maybe they'll just deliver it to the other place. I'm feeling stressed again. I don't know what it is. All right, that's different. That's different. I'll take it. Um, hard to tell if people are just sick from the amount of garbage, but it looks like they're picking it up because they can, I believe, get sick from the garbage. So I wanted to make sure I, you know, I just wanted to take out the root problem. Hmm. Temperature rises and falls. Power also fluctuates since people use AC. Can I change up my volume? Uh, I would just lower the vol- I don't know, I try to equalize my volume before the stream so that they come across on the variety of systems best. Sorry! Hmm. 
Good, the people in the garbage part of town are coming across as being less sick. We could raise... You know what? Maybe we need to fund this. Yeah, this is all kind of gone horribly awry. Okay, all right. Slightly more health care, but not by that much. Can we get some information about people's health? Oh, here we go. All right, yes, it does appear as if, like, the funneling through... A 64%. Six citizens, 209, 208 heal capacity. There we go. Death care. Fortunately, the crematorium has just been going to town. The crematorium has been doing God's work, so... Happy with that and all that it's had to offer. But let's destroy more homes and go down another line here. This heroic music is making me start to feel like making some really great bulldozing decisions. Hmm, what is this arrow? Oh, that's a, uh, that's a healthcare facility. We can't destroy the healthcare facility. Of course we can't. Hmm. I'm just trying to line it up so that I have, like the ideal amount of everything. There we go. Yeah, we just want to create some sort of, like, funneling of traffic. There we go. It's sort of close to the elementary school. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, now we are out of power again. Why are we out of power? Alright, I'll give you, like, 132 per... Just take it all. Take it all. It's not that much more money for us. Fixed. Fixed. Good enough. All right, now enough people have died and gotten sick in these buildings that they're just tired of living in them. Good. Good, everybody's getting picked up. I mean, the one thing that I do like about this is... I mean, just not to say that it feels like torture. Actually, I feel like that this feels more enjoyable than creating... Excuse me. Like a whole large city at once. You know what I mean? Because if it were a large city... Also, I don't think that this thing is generating enough power, so we're going to need to burn more garbage. Yeah, we- oh, maybe the garbage people need more money. Maybe that's what it is. Fair, fair. So maybe we don't need to- Ah, uh, I see what you're saying. Maybe then it's not like the power people, maybe it's the garbage people. Because I really want to burn the garbage for power. There we go. 28,800 per week. Maybe that's not enough. Good. Now it looks like it's going on at a breakneck pace. Give the garbage... Pay your garbage men and your city will flourish. Let's give them a full 100%. And a steak dinner. Good. Already 48,000 per week. They're processing more garbage and we're getting it all out of the dumps and burning it into the air. Oh, look. There's even more garbage trucks. Okay, this music is, like, perhaps a bit too hopeful. Good, this is more chill and funky, like my vibe. Ah, this is my favorite song on the soundtrack. I forgot about this one. Water purifiers in the water to clean the poop water. Why would I want to clean the poop water? It keeps the property values so nice and diversified. Like, shouldn't people have the option of living next to the poop? Maybe some people aren't so picky. Not enough buyers for products. And yet we still continue to build industries. Well, what are they manufacturing in here? Garments. Yeah, see, these people just have a lower standard of living. That's because they have comfortably, like, um, you know, lowered it. They don't require all that. Okay, we have a lot more money now after dealing with all of that crap. Pun intended. Let's speed up time, because we're collecting a generous amount of tax money. Uh, we're just going to keep on building this out into the ocean, so that the entire island is going to look... <sighs> it might start to look phallic after a while. I didn't even really intend that, but... Crazy strategy, guys, you know? <laughs> it's, it's growing like a disease, that's right. Uh... Alright, that seems like enough. I mean, really, this is enough. I think I've seen enough from your island. Uh, I guess we'll go for dense industrial, because why not? More is better. Uh, don't you love the way that... Well, I mean, over here, it's just soot. 
But over here, there's actual grass growing because we haven't massively polluted this part of town. Now, my thought is... Well, I really can't understand why this industry isn't selling its products. Nine over-educated workers. Oh, this is bizarre. So we might need actually less of this. Oh, what this might be a request for is offices because we educated ourselves too much. You know what, chat? We've become just too smart for our own good. All right. Here's where we're really going to make the city look a lot more, well, unfortunately, phallic. Um, to, for better or worse, whether you like it or not, we're going to build a lane of offices out here. Knock, knock. Okay, you hear that? It's time to build a bunch of office buildings where over-educated people will work uh, or pretend to work and we'll pay them uh, fake money and we'll then inflate the entire... Uh, economy and it'll go into a, just a downward inflationary spiral. I think that'll be a great time for everyone. Now, if we can divide off this bridge, actually that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. I'm glad you suggested that because there really is no redemption from any of this. We are getting noise pollution here, that's true. Let's go ahead and check out that noise pollution. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's horrible. Okay, well, Probably the industrial districts are shipping out more stuff. So let's go ahead and give them their own section of bridge if we can. Somehow this works. I'll give it a try and see if it makes anything better. It probably won't. Are they still going the other way? Just so that we can avoid having all of that exporting and importing going to our ears. Maybe also the office building sections. Good, look, they're actually using it. Who would have expected that? Yeah, I mean, it's at least interesting as an experiment. We'll also go ahead and expand our other districts over here so we can have even more industry that will create even more noise. Um, but that's part of our problem. The main problem is that, well, we just have an existential city building dilemma. We don't really know what to build, but I have to assume that these offices and the lowering industrial demand means that people were too educated and now they can work in offices and pretend to do things all day. Good. Customer service, that sounds like financial news. Trident Accounting, Happy Face, Travel Agency. Most of these sound like places that have a lot of my money and scammed me. Um, so, I, I mean, who wouldn't want to expand the economy like that, you know? Um, let's go over here. Good, I'm liking this lounge jazz. It's reminding me of getting scammed repeatedly. Oh, loving it. Oh, man, don't you just love that? All right, good. We've got the noise pollution is gone. I'd say that this society is getting near utopian, honestly, here. Okay, it looks like we are out of power again. We are, uh... Oh, no, we're running out of garbage to burn. Wait, are we really? Can't we relocate this stuff to the... This place? Yeah, we've run dangerously low on garbage. Okay, so then let's fund our power boys a little bit, because... Well, it might be getting time to make that second, uh, that second thing. Crossroad at the end so drivers don't have to go all the way down the road to get to the main road. Possibly. I'm kind of enjoying the cars just clipping through one another, though, aren't you? Crossroads. Crossroads? No, I don't think we're ready for advanced traffic simulations just yet. I, I think it needs to be a lot more of these, uh repetitive bad ideas before we get to anything else. Look, we've already got 5,000 people, guys. I, I must have some idea of what I'm doing, right? Come on, you have faith in me. You have faith in me. I love you. I love you. Hmm. Abandoned bit. Wait a second. We have to it always escapes me why you need to burn down. I mean, bulldoze the abandoned buildings in this game. Now, hang on a second. We just bumped up the power. Bill, what gives, buddy? Oh, it's probably because we've expanded our offices so much over here. All right, well, what are you doing in there? Power output, 50 megawatts. It's probably not enough. I mean, you're incinerating all of the garbage. We aren't even going to have any garbage left. 96% full. Hopefully, they'll take it out of there. Um, 
let's just keep emptying this. Hopefully they'll empty it into the other thing. Do you need to actually manually click that every time you want to do it? Oh, good. All right, the power need is gone somehow. You know, you are right about building the park. The truth is that I just don't really understand, like how, the thing is that whenever I try to build a crossroads, something goes horribly awry, so I don't understand it. Oh, wait, no, we aren't about to go in with roundabouts, guys. I know that they look satisfying, but this is, this is America. We can't have round, actually, to be fair, there are a lot of roundabouts in my very American town. But we can't have alternate, no, grids. Roads were made for driving on. Pedestrians be damned. Here we go. Now, actually, I did just, uh, I, guys, I'm not an uncultured swine anymore. I went for, uh, his PDX con, actually. Speaking of which, kind of, kind of, this is, uh, well, technically not a sponsored moment, but, uh, well, I, I've chatted at, at length several times about how I like working with the folks at Paradise. They're, they're very nice people to work with. And actually, I, I got to talk with one of the people who does a lot of stuff for Cities Skylines. So, uh, well, that is all to say that it was neat being in a European city where everyone is on bikes. There's, like, nobody in cars. It does sort of work, but I felt like a caveman who had been thrust into, like, a different civilization. And it it made me oddly uncomfortable seeing how happy everyone was. So I was just, I kind of, like, rejected the good idea, you know? Um, anyway, back here I am now in car land and... I couldn't feel any more comfortable and inefficient than I do right now, so... Yeah, and that's that's how it's been since I got home. Yeah. I distrust... Sometimes when people have good ideas, it makes me, like... It makes me feel distrusting, you know? Junctions on the road settings. Hmm. Oh, maybe like this? Junctions. Oh! That's helpful! Uh, hmm. Wow, I didn't even know that this existed in this game, to be completely honest with you. Toggle traffic lights. Now, how come how come I can't actually change this here? I didn't know that this existed in this game. Roundabouts suck if you're trying to cross the street. Yeah, but I didn't know that this existed. So how do we give one of these things a traffic light? Because I've clicked on everything I can. Oh, maybe if I click on them in there. Oh, that makes sense. That seems smart. Wait a second, now we can just have traffic. My life has changed in so many ways. Oh my God, there are traffic lights in there. I've never even seen these. I've never even seen these. Supposedly they didn't exist. I've been playing it for like 45 hours. Well, DJ, you're hired. You're hired, man. No, I didn't know that that existed in the game. Because <laughs> I never clicked on the roads. I've clicked on the cars. Wow. Dingus moment. Dingus moment. But I don't know. It feels good. It feels good to learn. I have no ego. It doesn't hurt me in any way. Hmm. Junctions. Okay, so you can actually see a total layout of your entire city like this. This looks quite good. Um, I think we're fine here with just the stop sign. I think that this is good. Uh, yeah, we'll pr at any, like, major juncture, we'll just do that. Let's do one there as well. I mean, I don't really know what's the best practices on these things, but it's good to see that in something that's not a mod. Because, my god... I've spent so much time on that stuff in mods. There is more to be done, though. Honestly, if we just had, like, traffic lights, that would be better. All right. Um, we're getting more demand here. I would like it if this were if this were separated by commercial or um, non-skilled versus skilled labor. But I'm just going to assume that this is skilled labor, so let's keep on building offices out into the void. No, I won't do I won't do traffic lights everywhere. I'm just assuming though based on like having seen higher traffic roads getting traffic lights that it's probably a good idea.
forgive me for my intellectual statement. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's see. Okay, good. It looks like that they did empty out all of the garbage from this facility into the main thing. So we don't have to worry about emptying that out anymore. Do we have to manually do that with every single one of these? I'll be damned. They actually do have to do that. All right, so we could reach a point where we get, like, equilibrium with the amount of garbage. Are we fully funding the garbage people? No, so let's fund them a little bit more to solve this, what appears to be a power problem. I'm thinking, like, we go up to around 120%. That's good. Okay. Okay, acceptable. An acceptable range for the garbage. Traffic lights can be a double-edged sword. You only use them at main intersections and line the rest of the road with stop signs. I, I am agreeing with you. DJ, where would I be without you? Thank you for carrying us all through the stream. Can everybody please say something nice about DJ and chat for, like, just, like, teaching me so much about this? God bless you, DJ. Oh, my God. Where would I be without you? <sighs> marry me, DJ. I love you. Leave your uh, current significant other and marry me. Please marry me. Please teach me your ways. Teach me your ways. Now it sounds like I'm being sarcastic. I just mean to say that I esteem you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for esteeming DJ as much, almost as much as I do. If that were possible, but it's probably not. Hmm. Okay, I think just more office... Uh, blind office space. Blindly just build more of it. Although it's probably a good idea. This is like most of uh, Manhattan, to be completely honest with you. There were so many buildings that just had a vague purpose. Besides just being a really big... I don't know. I never really thought anything was being produced. I have a chip on my shoulder about the city, if you haven't noticed. Anyway, um, well, surprisingly, the crap has just continued not really being a big problem. And honestly, this doesn't really look like any funny shape. If anything, it kind of looks like the letter J now. Maybe it's like a sign from on high. Hey, Badonkadonk. How did you get that Twitch name? Thank you very much for the kind words. Can you hear? All right, we've got 32 of these. Getting a lot of this. Ooh, ASMR. I'm actually going to stick with this ad. Pop soda. Belch the best. See, it was very... It's finally here. Friday night chili bowling at... No, that's an annoying ad. Every Friday night, anyone... Go back to the normal one. There's like three radio stations that I like. This is problematic because I... You know, I googled... Is there any way I can get rid of the ads in the game when I was trying to get ready for this stream? You know, I try to prepare things, have them nice for you guys whenever we do a live stream. I was looking up, like, is there a mod that gets rid of the in-game radio ads? People were suggesting to uninstall Windows and just delete the sound in the game. I think that those were stupid ideas. So then everybody, nobody really ever answered the question. Nobody has made this mod. But a lot of people were be willing to be a, 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 a wise guy, you know? Wise guy over here. Oh, look, we didn't even build on these ones. There we go. Now I am starting to feel like I have options, though. Like, as the island expands out, my fear was that I would be grinding a lot. And I know I am just kind of making more land and making more land. But you gotta admit that it, it has kind of come a long way. And it seems to make sense to me... Oh, wait a second, here comes the poop bounding the rounding the bend. It is bounding. But now we need to do more landscaping to control the amount of doo-doo. This could be problematic. So let's go ahead and just um, expand over here. Because we want to just keep it going out. Um, it may be that there's too much. Like that, the <laughs> like that the environmental impact has gone too far and there's no turning back. But I think that we can at least... See, it's more like a race, you know? It's more like a race. Is there a way of cleaning up the, the doo-doo once it's in the water? And if so, where, in which menu do we do that? Large water tower. Water treatment plant. Advanced inland water treatment. Is it all inland or can it be like outland? Pray it away. Dig a ditch. There is the ditch digging strategy. Um, though it has sort of seeped out into the main water supply. 
Why would we clean the... Yeah, I mean, it is kind of like a tourist attraction. It's like the Great Pacific Garbage... <laughs> what? <laughs> it's become like a landmark. Please, don't try to take any of the garbage out of the Great Pacific Garbage Pile. What are you doing? That's protected. That's protected, sir. Get your hands off... Get your filthy hands off of that garbage. <laughs> Uh, man, just years of commentary have refined every word that comes out of my mouth into sarcasm. I'm so sorry. Like, I can't have a normal conversation anymore. I try to have, drink a beer and have a, like, a normal conversation. How'd your day go with my friends? And everything is just, ah. Uh, this is the curse. <laughs> this is the curse. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> The, yeah, the Great Pacific Doo-Doo Patch. All right, you know what? Since we are making $6,800 a month, I think maybe we've overcome this doo-doo problem. Let's go ahead and uh, let's treat some of this. So advanced, let's learn about them. Water treatment plant or inland water treatment plant? Inland water treatment plant. It includes cities built far away from water systems. This building process and drains that... Wait a second, I was still reading. Wastewater back into the ground, plant surroundings will be affected by ground pollution. Oh, so we would put that nearby the garbage. Do you want to pump raw sewage into bodies of water? You can build a water treatment plant, reduce the environmental, purifies 80% of the pollution. Oh, so this thing just prevents it from going out. And then this one processes and drains water back into the ground and the plants... Okay, so then this just pollutes the area that was already polluted. So yes, let's have one of these. Just to prevent the problem from getting hopefully any worse. Um, we do need to connect that via our pipe network, which is completely fine. I feel like we're working with a lot of dough now. Okay. Oh, no, the fire. No fire. Oh, wait. Yeah, there is. Never mind. Eco inland, then we won't pollute the water. Um, yes. Yes. And we should also probably, because this is going to uh, pollute the ground, we should also make sure that this ground is fully terraformed in its vicinity. There we go. All right. So that's good enough. That's good enough. You just burn the water. Maybe we could use the steam for power or something like that. There we go. Wow. I mean, like, honestly, like, this part of town looks terrible, but this part of town... Well, there's always part of your town that's going to be designed to look terrible. I wonder if we could just totally get rid of those jobs and, uh, you know, put them somewhere else. <laughs> kind of like we do in the real world today. Isn't that funny? And sad at the same time. Good, we're still full of garbage. <laughs> we are full of garbage. That's how our town's uh, slogan. Okay, so drain capacity, tw 120,000 cubic meters per week. Drain capacity 100. I wonder if there's a way to tell how much we produce, though. Hmm. Oh, so then this thing is as effective as one of these things. So, ideally, we would just have no drain pipe. So we're still going to have the pollution going out here. Okay, this makes sense to me now. Mm. Wastewater treatment. Oh, so are you telling me that there's another treatment plant? Hang on a second. I will peruse them myself. Water train pipe, water treatment plant, inland water treatment plant, advanced inland water treatment plant. Oh, eco water, best water treatment plant there is. Eco water treatment, why didn't we see this before? You need to be connected to water pipes. It purifies the sewage, making it very clean and ready to let back into it. Oh, okay, so then now we could go through with this. Eco inland, this is so bizarre. Why would they add this many things to do the same thing? Tank reservoir. Fresh water outlet. Okay, this is getting to be bizarre now. Pumping service. I do like the number of things that I'm discovering out from this, though. Um, eco water outlet. It helps purify water and let it out. P pollution is reduced, but not wholly gone. The outlet. Let's. Uh, polluted water from the sewage system need a water pump to supply the. Then, so then this one just totally deletes it. Okay, so then this thing will. Actually, it won't dump it into the water at all. Uh, will it? I'm trying to see on the animation. Hmm. Ah, okay, so then it will. Okay, so then we're going to just delete this. No more doo-doo. 
No more. Whoops, uh, wrong button. Destroy! Yeah, pretty much that's it. That's all that we gotta do, right? Wow, if only I had seen that it were that easy. Space already occupied, so then we just destroy everything nearby. Sorry, everyone, no more business for you. Uh, we also will destroy that road and then kind of rebuild it. Uh, and then we put this here. Wow, I didn't realize that pollution just wasn't even necessary at all. So then this will just disperse into the water. I wish I had seen that before. I, I Well, now I've plagued our lives with this. Oh, well. Okay, so let's see the clean water coming out. Good, there it is. Clean water, and that will actually disperse the other water. So good. So then this shit will be replaced with the other water. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes, the age of feces has ended. I'm honestly a little bit depressed, but it means that now we can just expand out the island as ever we wish. Because we're still breaking even. Good. I feel like that was the entire climate disaster of this whole island. Is there any way to get rid of just that? Well, let's go ahead and disperse it further out into the ocean by just lands... creating more landfill. Alright. Get even further away from us. We want to be a water... clean the... use the water purifiers. We can drop into the water. Where are the water purifiers? I would like to see that. Tell me what menu and then I'll go over and do that. Otherwise, we'll just have some of it floating out there. My god, this totally changes my opinion of this game because I thought that it was just like residential, commercial, industrial. I really never fully explored the DLC, I guess. There is quite a lot here. Ah, uh, water purification under the garbage. Hang on a second, let's go over there. All right. Let's see, fishing and industry, probably not that. Oil industry, also probably not that. Farming industry, forest industry, garbage. Content creator packs. Waste processing facility, waste transfer facility. Hmm. Hmm, I don't seem to see it there. Not looking in the right place, it's okay. I mean, for the most part, like, I'm not such a perfectionist. I still leave some doo-doo on the inside of my own toilet bowl just to remind myself that I'm human, you know? Like, whenever I go there... <laughs> no, no, that one is actually... I, I don't do that. Though it, it does sound like something that I might, you know, philosophically debate in a video. I, I don't want you to think I'm that. I'm, I'm much off my rocker. I do clean the toilet bowl. I do. Hmm. Circular round thing, I don't have the dash for it. Hmm. No, so maybe we just don't have the money. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll go back there when the doo doo seems like it's more of a pressing concern. But for right now, I mean, that sounded like a constipation pun, but it, it wasn't, I can assure you. And I, I think everything's just going dandy here. But it does seem that we're going to need more power because I think we've already burned all of the garbage. We're running dangerously low on garbage, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and, um,. Well, let's go ahead and just... Oh, uh, we don't have enough money again. I mean, a lot of people have contemplated, like, should we just create a dam for all this? Oh, look, there's actually the pure water coming back out into the ocean. Wow, what do you know? That's beautiful. I didn't even realize that was possible in this game. Miracles do happen. Okay, so another gar uh, garbage, or what is it? <laughs> Not a garbage facility. A power plant. <laughs> That's what they call those things. Uh, though this will eat much into our power bill, but now we can start to expand more greatly. There we go. Okay, so we do that. Use wind generators. Well, I've seen the kind of hydroelectric poop dam strategy. That's sort of the one I was going off of. Um, uh, several people have contemplated this, uh, many, uh, many civil engineers have debated it IRL as well, too, I believe. Like, would that be viable? Could we use our own crap? Kind of like in the sense that people use fertilizer. Fascinating to watch. But it, it had been done in so many videos that I was like, and I, I couldn't really get it to work very well. Unless if I used it. 
a cliched design, which I would never want to be seen using something that was a cliched design. No, all of my doo-doo removal structures need to be original. Here we go. Hmm. Okay, we get the pipes over here. Good slight overlap there, but I think I do this right with the pipes. I don't think that there's any more efficient way to do this. Just run one this way and then run them out so that you cover all the land. Oh my god, look at it. Okay, so let's just appreciate the entire island now from afar. Wow, that's actually... Okay, I want to save this as a, a remarkable point in our... We educated the stupid people, then we... um, uh, do do Removal. There we go. It's gone. This is such a beautiful structure, too. Wow. This is probably my favorite animation in this game, too. It's just like the chugging out of the water from the pipes. Just something that... It's like a universal ohm to look at that. Education tunnel. Let's check on our population's education for now. Hmm. All right, people are getting smarter somehow. Who really knows how? They're graduating. They're going on to having brighter and faker jobs in those offices that we built. And no one really seems to be saying anything from the offices. Hmm. What to build next? 5,700. I think that we've better dealt with the infrastructure. You know, this pile of poo might just go out into the ocean. It might become, to be fair, actually, and quite on topic, like the Great Pacific uh, Garbage Patch. Low land value, though. But why? Oh, probably due to the speeds at which people are driving over here. Can we see that? Can we see the noise level? No, it's actually not that bad. Hmm. Maybe they just need another dog park. Let's see how that does, if we put that in there. Land value. What are you talking about? This land is of value? This land is your land? Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't want a historic pile of garbage uh, surrounding their home? You put that on the uh, put that on your Zillow description. An historic pile of garbage, right outside. Great, great investment. Might need to be landmarked. There we go. Happy yet? Probably not. But we'll just destroy your house anyway. You didn't have enough team spirit. Okay, let's go build more office buildings so that people can uh, pretend to work continuously. I mean, so, like, let's kind of go back to my goals here. So, my goals, what did I say? Um, I had three of them. Land, f fill up the land. Possibly with a landfill. Probably with a landfill. Oh, oh my gosh. Mystic Quests and Anab Anadabadu. And a dab -a -doo. Thank you very much for the five gift subs, guys. Guys, if you've gotten a gift sub, please be sure to say thanks. Mr. Quest and, and, and a dab -a -doo. Thank you very much. Guys, please be sure to say thanks to Mr. Quest and, and a dab -a -doo if you're getting a gift sub. Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for, thanks for the support. I, I hope you guys just enjoy it, but I, I do appreciate it. Hmm. We're making lots of money now. This city's going up. 64,468. Same brain. We have the same brain? No, we can't. Also, add the objective of making a green city. I feel like that's kind of part and parcel. Part and parcel. Well, now maybe we could make a city that's not just a variety of geometric experiments like my last one. Maybe we could make a city that actually uses the DLC. As I was saying, I'm going to continue this unofficial me talking about things. I, d I do got to say, though, I, I went to PDXCon, the, uh, uh, they, they give you, like, a, a ticket that gives you every single Paradox Games code unlock. I'm, I'm pretty sure it gave me every DLC for every single game that's ever been made for Paradox, along with the price of a convention ticket. So if you happen to live near it, and you like their games, and you just want to do it all in one big shot, I was like, I don't know if this will ever happen again. But it, it, was, it was a time of great boyish excitement for me. Of something that uh, I never thought would be added to my Steam library. And I, I had a great time. Yeah, it's, it's probably like three thousand... Probably, I don't know what it is, like four or five thousand dollars worth of gaming. 
it's, all, it's more than I'll ever be able to do. I, I just cry when I look at my Steam library now because uh, there, are, there are perks of, of playing games for a living and that you have more than you can ever possibly play. And it, it, is, it is quite existentially saddening. I mean, honestly, I feel like I could sit down with one game for a long time. That was why I created this channel in the first place. I had, like, three games in my Steam library where I was thinking, I could spend my entire life playing that game, and I would I would be okay. But, uh, I mean, one of them was Project Example. I always wanted to sink my teeth into that game, and now I feel like I finally have. And yet, gaming has gotten so crazy good over the last few years. It's It's like you would need lifetimes in order to enjoy several games. I don't know where I'm going with this, but yeah. Technology is scary good nowadays. Alright. Here we go. See you in the city. Honestly, the traffic problem hasn't become so hellish and nightmarish. Probably because of that road figuring out thing. So, if we do this roads thing, so, can we see, like, traffic along with this? So we see routes, but this doesn't actually show congestion, does it? We need to use another menu for that. Which is unfortunate. I think I'll do a couple more of these. They don't need to be everywhere. But yeah, obviously on some of these streets it does make sense. Hmm, so... Transport. We don't really get traffic. Okay, so that's public transport. Transit. But, ah, here we go. Traffic! Yeah, obviously it's bad there. Man, this is like the data visualization that I never had. Even more informative than that of SimCity. I gotta say, now that I've really fully explored more of this DLC... It's not even necessarily the DLC, but just things that I didn't even see in the game at all to begin with. Are there dead people lying everywhere now? Joke's on me. Wait, there's trash piling up. How could there be trash piling up? We are using only 16 out of 19 of our trash... Oh, because of this. I see. Alright, good. We just emptied that one out. There are dead people lying everywhere. Okay. Um, let's refund healthcare. Hmm. Here we go. Yes, yes, I am beginning to see the traffic. Thank you. See, it's sad, though, because I feel like it's wasted on me. Like, I'm really not very good at gaming. Like, when I see the numbers of hours that some people put in on their games... And when I read some of the YouTube comments about how bad I am at playing them. I do, I despair. I, and I despair. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that we're not getting enough of the dead people away. So there really is no freedom of choice in this city. You just kind of get burned when you die. Um, I am starting to see though that the flow of green is not like coming over all this way. So let's put it over here. And then, hopefully, the hearses will be able to get over that way fast enough. Um, it looks like we can create another fantastic junction over in this section of the city. And I think I will put some dense commercial in here. Sorry, thick commercial, because, well, why not? There we go. There we go. Hmm, I feel like I did that wrong. Oh, well. Too bad. They can work with these irregularly shaped squares well enough for me. And we are starting to get more sick people. We're we're basically funding that. Healthcare. What about healthcare view? They can sort of get over there. Oh man, they don't even like the noise? Well then let's just build another one over there. Underground access road from the industrial district to get the garbage. Ah, not a bad idea because the garbage needs to get to the residential zones. That's not a bad idea, yeah. You know, what's what's crazy about this game is how much easier it is to generate revenue than it is in SimCity 4. Um, I always just sort of considered City Skylines easier than SimCity 4. But you also have many more options now that I'm seeing it. You mean like this? So if we went like this... Underground access tunnel... Tickle me pink. Hmm. You know, we're going to have to sacrifice one of these buildings. What if we did something like this? So we said... Hmm, I want to make this a grid. 
Man, now I'm starting to appreciate that... Like, you guys know the YouTube channels where the people get really in with city building games? Like, they put work in on the city building games. And they make something that is... It's like the Mona Lisa of city builders. I'm beginning to pr appreciate it. That is what I'm trying to say. Here we go. Underground, baby. Can we do this? Can this be done? Wait, it goes bridge into tunnel. Okay, actually, this would not be a bad way to connect these two parts of town. But why not just do, like, a regular bridge? Or we could do... This would be kind of climactic, though, don't you think? To have a bridge by the release of the clean water? Yes! Look at that. That's a climax if I ever say... Or, I don't know, not climactic, but nice. It looks good. And look, the, the doo-doo is just sort of going out to sea. Because it's being pushed over here. We could put another plant to push the doo-doo out that way. I think that's good, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, eventually, we'll build tunnels that'll, like, bring together things like, uh... Like, a, like motorways and mini motorways, if you've ever played that. You know, just something to more efficiently connect stuff together. Okay, time for more land expansion. Because land expansion has so far just been, like, the godsend of this game. Play. I'm pretty sure we could have done it even without all these fancy schmancy structures. And I sort of do like it when it's just sort of, like, horribly bumbled into place. But at the same time, maybe playing this game well... Well, I can never go back to my innocent roots of not understanding it. <laughs> Don't you know that feeling, though? Like, when you go from not understanding a game to understanding it, and that's where there is some magic. And then sometimes when I get how it works, I feel sad. Hey, Revan Kiss. Thank you very much for the sub. And Comfort Eagle. Appreciate it. Hang on a second. This music pisses me off. Too intense. Isn't there a lo-fi? I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, that's it. Lo-fi station. I'll take some lo-fi for a while. Decent for streaming. If this were a video, I wouldn't... I'm okay with lo-fi, but it's been... It's been a bit overdone, I feel like. Just overused in everything. What's public transport look like? None of it, man. None of it. I mean, eventually, when we're getting enough taxpayer money, which now we're up to about $10,000, then we'll start to get airports and stuff like that, I think. Well, let's... Maybe we should sketch out one of those things, because you can make... I'll go ahead and say this. Like, I never really looked deeply into the, uh, into the tools here, but if we go into, for example, like, parks and stuff, if you want to make a really fully fleshed out amusement park, there's so many different features that you can add to it. That it's actually kind of sad that I've never done this. So I might go ahead and do one of those things in this uh, playthrough. Just because I feel like there's so many tools that are just begging to be explored. And I never gave them a try, really. Like, uh, my friend, uh, you guys know I'm Kibitz? He, he, he's done more stuff like this. It's pretty neat. Like, he'll really go in and, and make something not really like a city in a city. And I, I think it's cool. Like, he'll go really to town on all the airport control and stuff like that. I've just sort of managed it, like, just the basic zones whenever I've played. And I just feel like I'm, you know, missing out on something. Yeah, let's build all of that. Okay, yeah. Cash money. Though we do need people to work those jobs. Let's just balance this out one more second, because I would rather have more people than jobs. And the garbage is starting to piling up again. Uh, man, underground tunnel for garbage. That's not a bad idea. Mm, yeah, like we designate a whole part of the city to become a theme park, and then we just make that. That's that's nice. That appeals to me. Here we go. You know, I wanted to avoid the custom... I'm going to go ahead and say why I'm not using custom landscaping tools, because there is the mod called Extra Landscaping Tools that... Like, it basically lets you do this much faster. I didn't like it because it doesn't cost money to landscape 
um, or at least when the way I was using it, it, it was just free. And I think it should cost money in order to do that. Because otherwise, what's the challenge of building a city if it's free to build land under it? You know what I mean? So I was just like, screw that, no way. I'm doing it the harder way. Okay, here we go. This is going to be all residences. All right, there it is. And a morgue. People will like to know that they'll uh, will be ready for them when they're done. Farm maintenance building. Uh, wait, no, I went into trash when I meant to get the dead people. A sauna. Medical helicopter, sports hall, and gymnasium. Oh, some of these things are more health related and not just like pick you up when you're dead related. My God, are we going to need another landfill? This seems like a lot of landfill. Oh, they've been emptying this one out. Okay. That makes a little bit more sense. Where are the people coming from? So far, everyone in this town has either been born here or they're coming over this bridge. Uh, I know it surprised me too. All that I needed was this long, uh, dubious, tenuous bridge. But yeah, it does work. Jazz again. Would connecting the end of the roads help with traffic? I don't know, but at this, um, well, actually the reason I'm not doing highways right now is because highways are really expensive. Like even just this one road, $88,000. Like we are making a lot more money than we were before, but not we're not really in that league yet. Soon we'll be able to. All in good time, all in good time. There we go. Cool. Water supplied. And we are getting that new garbage truck coming in. I can see the garbage moving out. Nice. Good job with the garbage. Uh, and now we can fearlessly extend it. I know that it doesn't get affected by having doo-doo underneath it. But yeah, it's just going to go. It just goes. We Otherwise, we need to create some new form of water flow here. Yeah, we are generating like sort of a tide in this in this fashion. Hmm. You know, I think we could do we could create like sort of a big bay of clean water if we wanted to push it out even faster. Hmm. Now, does that meet one of my goals? We well, we want to make a happy city, don't we? I guess we could supply more money for our schools now, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give our schools more money to educate our... Oh, wait, we already did the full max. All right, well, then let's just make people smarter then. Because, look, they're already demanding some... They need highly educated people. And, look, they, we've got some of them, but not all of them. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, where do you go after that? University. University provides education for young adults without a university. I think this is going to get them to highly educated. We'll put it on the corner. Where do you go? I go to the corner university. Where we study to do the job next door. 75,000. Oh, whoops. Wrong spot. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Our city is just going to keep growing. All right, look at that. Confident red and white. It honestly looks kind of like BU. Have you ever been to BU? Boston University? Like one of their buildings natural park and an island in the former uh, was thinking of doing an island like maybe something with uh the power plant except that the bridges are expensive to maintain i don't know i feel justified in this okay i i mean like i'm i'm feel content to call this for uh smart college what if i Named my other ones, Curse Constructs, Curse 2. Oh, this one was such a nightmare. City prepared flood almost done. <laughs> what kind of horrible naming conventions have I been using over the last few years to name these cities? It's always fun when those things come up. Sometimes it's just a bunch of random characters, like everything on my keyboard. It's a good time. It's a good time, though. I, you know, I did used to give save files just totally random names until I realized that they were not they were indexing themselves randomly. So I had to give them legitimate names again. 
and that and that was the day everything changed. That was the day everything changed. Yeah, it's too bad. Like we might overeducate our students, and then they come up with new complaints about how poorly run our city is, and it's like. But listen to me because I'm your father, you know, and I went through hell to raise you, raise you out of the patch of crap that you were uh, raised in. You know, I made sacrifices so that you could be educated. And we want the, the elders of our city. Now it's 2032. It's been only six years since we began. Can you believe this? Wasn't it 2026 that we started? Well, anyway, I mean, we have some disenfranchised generation of elders who endured the smell of poop, the taste of garbage, of soylent green, the burning of, well, I mean, we still burn everyone's bodies, and I think we always will. It's just more environmentally friendly. <sighs> you know, like, the one thing I wonder about is when we're, like, millions of generations in, we'll... <sighs> Should they have used my body for energy? Like, are they at least getting some energy from my dead body at the crematorium? I know that's kind of a dark thought to bring up, but like, I hope that, you know, I hope that my body goes back to the earth. I hope that the maggots eat me. Well, I won't be, I'll probably just be cremated. But I hope that they have a good time with whatever it is I'm, uh, whatever it is I've got to offer. Anyway, um, how do we get more water? Is the water pumping station really the only one? Because I'm wondering if there's like an even cleaner way. Eco inland eco water treatment plant. Tank reservoir. In case we need something. Pumping service. Pumping stations. Pumping stations or water towers. Yeah, fair, fair. Where does the water tower get the water from originally? You know, I never figured that out. Like... It's not just up there. Like, that. not that much water just falls into the water tower. Don't be silly. You can't just create so I create soil in this save file. Yep, don't ask where the soil comes from. No one does. Yeah, that one, I, I am using a, a mod for that. Because I just thought it would be a nightmare to try to keep doing it. It just adds needless complication to our game. Here we go. And that's science. That's how science works. Man, look at this city. It looks good. This is like a fully fledged city now, guys. Ah. Uh, all right, let's let's make some room for something nice for our citizens. Like they've worked hard enough, I think they deserve it. Um is there any like type of big facility that we could create for them? I don't know, like an airport or an amusement park or you know, something nice, you know, like something that we could actually get into the weeds a little bit more. Maybe not the airport, because probably the planes will crash. Theme park, yeah, like a theme park would be nice. Yeah, maybe we could put it, like, with a good view of the of the patch of crap in the ocean. That could, It could be like Coney Island, you know? <laughs> yeah, Subway, Subway could be kind of cool. Hmm, hmm. Or maybe like a series of underground tunnels. It's almost like, you know, the imagination is our limit here. What is this? Varsity sports. Liberal arts college camp. You could create a liberal arts college? Jesus Christ, there's so much... There's so many options in this. You can even get down to the minutia of creating the... What the heck? Hmm. So, as I take it, you when you create an amusement park, you have to designate out the entire area first. Is there any tool that we have in here for that, or do we... Yeah, we could zone the park. We could zone the park. I do have the DLC. I have, I think, everything except for parks and plazas. Hmm. Paint district. Oh, is it like this? Paint industry area. Paint... Paint campus area. Okay, so we do it through here. Hmm. Erase park area. Wait a minute. Park or industry? Industry. Campus. Erase campus area. Ah, so it is park. Okay. So if we create a park. Alright. Let me just terraform a lot more land first. 
We do have $128,000. We should be able to do it. Uh, where are we going to put the park? Let's put it, um, hmm. Yeah, let's put it, like, right here. We've already got some land here, so we might as well make use of that. And we'll put it in this little area. And it's going to be an inland park because eventually everything in this city will be very deeply inland. Skate park for the... That would be cool. I'm glad I did stream this, though. I gotta say, like, you know, um, uh, I was being a little bit facetious before. Um, a little bit coy about, uh, about the YouTube comments that are, that are, uh, mean. <laughs> uh, they are mean. <laughs> Some of them are mean. Some of them are wonderful. Of, you have no idea what you're doing and how to play that. I actually, I, I really like those comments. Even the mean ones now, because I just, I have no ego in it. And I just learn a lot from the comments. As long as the person is being informative. Like, those can be some really helpful comments to read when you're trying to learn a game. Because it's people giving you free direct feedback on how to play a game. Like, otherwise you have to go looking things up on Google and it's a pain. Um, but no, it's, it's, it's wonderful to have an army of people watching you play a game. At first it does make you, like, very self-conscious. But then after that it's like, oh, they want to help me. I can use that. And it is quite good. Okay, um, park area. So... Let's just paint all of this. We'll go for like a conservative park. I think a Hemlock City Park. Okay, just... Interesting, interesting. Okay, so then this is like, as I take it, our limit to the park. Okay, amusement park path with directions. Well, we don't want anyone to know where they're going. Oh, decorations, that's fine. Let's just like kind of uh, square it in, square it in. See where this block is gonna end. Okay, so it'll be like that. Okay, so then we could put our amusement. Whoops, a daisy. Uh, now I need something like more amusementy. Let's do like rock and roll. Nah, maybe it's not like that. What is that? Country. Okay. There we go, Tony McConey. Tony McConey, everybody, everybody's favorite chef. Let's just dezone everything. Yeah, tell me about Chef Tony McConey's meaty boy. His what? Excuse me? What radio station have I turned tuned into? Hmm. Okay, so I think we need like a path to the amusement park. Okay, there we go. Good enough. Come on in. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the whole park. It's just a lot of grass. We've painted the area. Choose the type of park by the type of entrance we choose. Oh, okay. So then we go from there to... Why do we keep having ads? There we go. Okay, good. That's what I was looking for. Amusement park main gate. Okay, so then we do that. Oh, I'm seeing how it works now. Okay, so yes, let's get rid of this. Okay, so we put the main gate in there. And can we make that perfectly symmetrical? Oh no, unfortunately I've cursed myself to a life of being without symmetry. Yep, I can't make that symmetrical, really. Okay, so it looks like the flat, that lo does look like the UK, chirpy land. All right, I don't like this guy, but uh, okay. All right, um, <laughs> he's kind of growing on me as I've gotten into the game. Hmm, small amusement park main gate. What? Amusement park main gate? Amusement park side gate? Amusement park plaza. Okay, yes, plazas, that's what we need. So I guess we should run out the path over there. Good, uh, let's just have it go right down the middle because where else would it go? And then, oh, so that's kind of neat. So we like do different activities that could be had off the side of it, all right. I haven't done any of these tools yet. I, I'm sorry, guys. I have, I have no clue what I'm doing, but... I, I'm finding this somewhat enjoyable, except I wish that it would use the Snap 2 feature a little bit more. But it snaps enough, too, I guess. Okay, so a plaza. I know that's not really what you're expecting from an amusement park, but let's give that a try. Let's go further on in the menus. What is this, another plaza? Cafe. Okay, well, they do have to eat something. Eat this. Maybe you'll meet Chef Tony McConey in there. There we go. 
All right, Chef Tony McConey is in there serving up his meaty bits to everyone. Side entrances so people can get into the park. Okay, all right. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's much to do at the park, though, yet. Let's, let's get a... What is this? Souvenir shop. Yeah, buy something, will ya? Okay, here we go. Remember your brief encounter with Chef Tony McConey. There we go. And a fence to keep out uh, the police or uh, somebody. I mean, not the police. Here we go. All right, there we go. Um, I think we should, like, make this circumnavigate the park. There we go. We're circumnavigating the park. All right, we, we're doing something with it. Uh, let's go keep building paths around, because how else will people get around? I hope that those are connected. Yeah, they appear to be. Oh, look, the mascots are bumbling around. Okay, look, little girl, little girl, why are you running so fast? Oh, no, she's running from the chef. Everyone is running from the chef. These people are running. Okay, good, those people are running out, too. Uh, hopefully everyone got away from the, the horrible foods. Oh, for their game booths. Do we have any rides? All right, this is bothering me now. Jazz. Ah, uh, that's much better. Okay, let's put in a dangerous ride. So that we could, uh... Hopefully we'll get some sort of lawsuit settlement here. Oh, isn't that a shame? Look, we don't have enough room. See, that's what I mean. Like, we should have just enough room there for that, but we don't. Let's do this, like another ride here. Hopefully someone will get on this and not sue us. There we go. Okay, these ones just go right out to the street. You don't even know why you went into the park in the first place. House of Horrors. What is this? What is just the largest, most of Look at how thin the Ferris wheel is. That could fit anywhere. That's great. Okay, we'll have that there. And, oh my god. Oh, we have to destroy this thing because this was such a bad idea in the first place. Yes, I want a roller coaster. Look at that. Guys, that's cool. Okay, what can we do? We could do a bench. Jesus Christ, the... <laughs> the rabbit hole just keeps getting deeper. A bench? Oh, the miles to... Yeah, it would probably take longer, but I did, uh... Wait, people can get in without paying. Oh, since they get in without the main gate? Okay. Well, no Ferris wheel then. Eh, you know what? It's fine. I mean, is it really costing us that much? Isn't this a private enterprise? Who ever heard of a public amusement? Are there any public amusement parks? Well, we're gonna... Oh, it does cost $240. That's very expensive, though. Okay, all right. No more of this. I don't want to get sued. Okay, now everybody has to pay to get it, except... Please pay. Oh no, they are coming in without the main gate. What a... Absolute travesty. Okay, here we go. Now we've connected everything. Alright, now I'm getting just fed up with all the music. Oh! My very own amusement park! Huh! Bumper cars. Okay, if I had seen that, I probably wouldn't have built some of these roads, but that's okay. Like, we got most of what we needed. I needed to have a, tr a dry run where I just made a lot of mistakes. Do you understand? Oh, good, this is actually kind of a helpful UI here. Oh, I'm even hearing, like, carnival sound coming from it. Merriment, another gay activity occurring on the inside. There we go. Do we have just barely enough room to build that road to the side? Guys, this is neat! There we go. Okay, a little bit more room. Good, so you get scared. Uh, somebody hits you, and then you get probably a lot of back pain. You go out for a bite, you buy something, and then you leave. And I mean, that's basically life. After all, I mean, like, hang on a second. I am amused. Amusement. You know, I, I feel like that this was an entirely viable city. Even 
I mean, remember, this is all occurring. I'm just going to remind you of how remote all of this is, that this is all occurring off on some island in the Pacific. Who knows where it is? Probably near the giant garbage pack uh, path. Oh, wait a minute. We could fence the park to get the maximum? Okay, hang on a second. This is a five-head play. I'll have to revise that when I fix this up. But I feel like that I have enough now. I know how to manage the city. I thought it couldn't be done. I thought that this city would be too difficult to create. But, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling entirely justified in this horrible endeavor that we just undertook. I, I would like to thank you guys for joining me for this. I, I think I got done with everything I, I wanted to. I proved to myself that the city was possible to create. 